And, yeah, you talked to Javier about the with your son, right? Starting up meeting live on YouTube. The fusion? I haven't recently. Done. Oh. No, I mean, did he message you about doing inserts for that? Yes. Yes, he did the answer. Okay. Because I forgot what tires you said those inserts were you printed for me. All I gotta say is Chewy strikes again. Is that? <laughs> Hankering for a tire, huh? <laughs> I don't know why my wife got him the Kong bone that's a tire, knowing that I have these sitting around the house. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> Are we live? I, 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 I don't see it live here on, on YouTube, Keith. Are we live? It's not on my TV. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't get the I can't find it on my TV. On, Keith. I don't know. Are we live? <laughs> yes, we're live. But... <laughs> I know because I had to mute that damn freaking feedback. Or delay. It's not feedback. It's playing twice. Yeah. Reverb. Here we are. I know we're live. What? Like that? <laughs> Back. Or delay. Oh, that's not me. It's not <laughs> me. Not me. Uh, not me. Not me. I watched your volume go up when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. All much talking about. But why did it light up green around you when I heard it? Because I farted. <laughs> What's up, JD? Oh, they let anybody in here. Damn. Oh, I don't have the chat on. Oops. Well, after we got off that chat with Javier, I seen that Sergeant Major was live with Mike George. So I went over there and was checking out what they were talking about. Oh my god. I'm almost out of Tylenol. <laughs> and Mike George will give you a headache in a heartbeat. I know Sarge had a review the other day. I mean not a review, but uh a... oh something with work. No, uh, he did his video. Mm. Oh, his premiere. 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 Yeah. Premiere. That's what it is. Not a yeah, the CJ room. Premiere. Yeah. Yeah. Met, met what you knew now, Keith. He had a premiere video. Oh, yeah, this goes with that. Welcome in, Dwayne. What's up, Dwayne? Evening. We're going to start calling oh, Dwayne. Thompson. Where's Thompson been? All right, it's got a pair of them now. I haven't seen Thompson in a while. Thompson was on, uh, what was it? Metro Freaks. He's oftentimes sharing that out. Yeah, he was on, he was on yeah. the, uh, whose live was he on a couple days ago? I forgot. It wasn't. It was either Kurt or Tanks. I can't remember which one. Kurt's not yet. Well, Kurt, Kurt's Kurt is must... Kurt's is tomorrow in Tanks. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, but I'm saying I saw him. It was either yeah. Sunday or Thursday. I can't remember. So it, was, it wasn't Thursday. So it had to been Sunday. <laughs> yeah, he didn't Breaking show up on ours Tuesday night either. Yeah, not now that you mention it. Yeah, I haven't seen him. Uh, JD, JD, JD. <laughs> um, poking the bear. He's fucking with Nightbot. No. Oh no. Uh, it, it's. <laughs> 
it's something that him and I have to have a private chat about. <laughs> yeah. That's not going to work, JD. Uh, what a, what all I guess is what a fast day at the track today. Yeah. Every class, the sl the fastest was four point two, the slowest was four nine, and that was a rookie class. Hey. I'm dialed in, eh? Oh, did you, John, that was the last race for the winter? Yeah, what last race indoor. So uh, now yeah. I got now I got a month off to uh get ready for outdoor. Yeah, so last race they probably got him dialed in all right yeah let's 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 just say when the front tire looks like this and your rear tire is looking like this damn <laughs> after the same after the same weekend and they've been on the car just as long as each other. Nah, nah. I know a guy that likes to rotate tires. Yeah, yeah well, I'm just I'm just gonna let that I'm just gonna let that one uh, completely disintegrate and make it my baldy. You just gotta make sure that lug nuts are tight. I didn't like it. You did hear the expression. <laughs> you did hear the expression "sit on it and rotate," eh? Because when you right. sit on that tire, you do have to rotate them after a while. Mm-hmm. Is yeah, that where it, it, came it, from it rotates. It rotates every time I go around the track. Mm -hmm. this, oh, okay. this way and this way, so it's completely <laughs> three hundred and sixty. Is that where it came from? Yes. I tank. Well, in less than twelve hours, I'll be on the trails. I'll be on the what? On the trails. Oh, happy trails to you. Going on the trails tomorrow tomorrow at twelve o'clock. Oh yeah, you're gonna take are you gonna take the ferry? <laughs> yes. Awesome. The ferry? I at least want to see some stuff in the what's that? You want to see a Canadian ferry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Maybe. Not really. <laughs> Not really. I'm not gonna oh. respond to that. Yeah, I don't know how many American ferries there are. A lot. <laughs> There's a lot. Or are you talking Take about the latest census? I'm talking mm -hmm. about a boat. I've been on one once. You got the Block Island ferry down here. That's the one I've been, been on. on the ferry. There's a couple of them. On the Jurassic ferry, ferry for Keegan. Was that was, Keegan? Was it a long ride on that ferry? Yeah, it was pretty long. Did you enjoy it? Block Island. Did you, did I didn't get sick, at least. Yeah, <laughs> oh shit! Was a bonus. So you Obviously enjoyed sickness. your ride on the ferry? It smelled like fish, though, real bad. <laughs> Burnt That's <asshole>. weird. <laughs> That could go a lot of different ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and, you know, and here's the worst part is Keith is the ringleader of it, so we can go way <laughs> off the deep end. I'm gonna lead it that way. I know you are, Keith. <laughs> hey guru. Welcome guru. 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 Why isn't Dennis looking at the chat? I'm looking at the chat, JD. I seen what you said. Is he trying yeah, to antagonize you? Take your eyes off the chat. Yeah, he's starting. <laughs> he's gonna start. We send one to Mitch. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I just did like maybe two, three minutes ago. Maybe I should ask him why my lug nuts are loosening up. Is he a mechanic? My, he's a drywall. 
Oh, he is? I thought he did mechanic work, too. He He used to be. He used to to do drywall. Yeah. yeah. Which which, which lug nuts? Front. Uh, I think it was the front passenger side I noticed was the loose, loosest. How loose is loose? What are you talking about? Finger loose? Finger loose. No, no, no. It was like when I put the torque wrench on undo it, they just were like, eh, they just kind of went, you know, they weren't yeah. stuck. Mm-hmm. Are they aluminum mm-hmm. wheels? Yeah. That's aluminum yeah, wheels. You got the same, pretty much the same truck, I think, uh, Josh. And aluminum wheels are going to, you need to tighten the lug nuts occasionally because they're going to loosen up. Yeah, oh, yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. They never, never seat as well as on a steel wheel. Lock tight. Do you mean like the red Loctite? Yeah. Permanent? No, no, no. I wouldn't recommend it. No, 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 no. Just a little blue. Hey, do you, yeah, do, you, I know, do, I know. Do, do you want to put a blowtorch to your aluminum rims? Not really. I have a list. Maybe, little, maybe the lug nuts. The lug nuts are one thing, but you know, it's you got more than that under there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like you said earlier, just put like a drop on there. Yeah. Yeah, but you also have to take the wheel off and look at it and make sure that there's nothing wrong with the wheel where the lug seat. Or, or yeah, they weren't themselves. so loose that they did any damage. No, they bought them out the could be, could be a little bit of corrosion could could make it a little on the loose side too. Yeah, yeah, but does the lug nut on your truck? Do they have the washers on the back of them? No. You have, what are you driving again? A Ford? It's a twenty twenty F one fifty. Yeah. Sorry. When's the last time you changed your lug nuts? Because your lug nuts have a cap on it, don't they? Yeah, they they starting to look like they need to be. Yeah, I guess uh, that happened to my wife's car on her Focus. You're going to have to get some new lug nuts. Yeah, Ford can't make lug nuts. I know. No, they cannot. You can get aftermarket. That's what you she can buy got. some from AutoZone. Yeah. yeah. Anytime you take an aluminum reel off and put it back on, you should check the lug nuts a little while. After you put it on, you ought to tighten them a little bit more. Just two different like, different types of metal. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I took it for a drive, and then I rechecked them, retorqued them. So, right, but where they don't let seat... John's friends talk on them. Yeah. Where the plug up seats into the wheel. <laughs> yeah, you got to look to make sure that it's not starting to mushroom out of there too. Yeah, that'll happen a lot. Where if you take it somewhere to have brake work done or tire rotation or whatever, they just put them on with an impact and just make them tight. They don't use yeah. a torque wrench. Right. So once they start smashing in, they will start the back loose. Yeah. Not only that, but sometimes sometimes there's just a little bit of movement there, and I'll get it cocked off to the side just enough just to put that nut on it, and it'll crimp Which it Which side does the cock go off on? The left cocked right. off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody's I, – I, I have had it in. They have rotated the tires a couple times. But I don't like taking it to the dealer because you know they're not they they it's supposed to take five thirty it used to be five twenty oil I know they put five twenty in it and uh, that pissed me off. Yeah, well, mine depends on the seasons too. Did did they do the did they do the synthetic to it? Well, they use the motor craft. It's semi. It's like yeah. semi synthetic. Yeah. Half and half. Yeah, so it's a synthetic blend. Yeah, that's it. Blend. Which is all right, but I put, I use, what do I use? I'm using Valvoline now because you can buy it. It's the right spec and you can buy it in like a 12 quart box. It's like box wine, but it's oil. It's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this bag? So I made, I took two one gallon jugs and I marked off how many, you know, quarts fit, you know, so I could meter it up because it takes six quarts of oil. <sighs> Mine takes five and a half. I'm like, why can't it be five or six? Why does it got to be a half? Yeah, I have, I've had that. We'll At least it's half. half. At least it's not it like burns. 0.3. Right. Well, then, well then, it, then again, at the same time, when I had my trailblazer, with it being the inline six, it took seven quarts. And it was a six I like them. Those are good engines in those, those, those GMs straight sixes. Yeah. Those are good. Yeah, that's what I got in my, my blazer. I like straight six engines straight six. in general. They sound good. It has a little in it, but it. <laughs> what what car? My my blazer. Yeah. 
They said they, uh, it was if the you put an exhaust on a street six, they sound like shake. a freaking like a like they sound really good. Mm -hmm. I want to get one of those so things you put up your tailpipe and then go. You do? Brum, brum. Uh, sounds like that. I want to get one of them for the keys. My Kia. I don't know if you just put it up your tailpipe or you got to add a new muffler. Yeah, I'm talking about no, it shows it on. And... Yeah, it just shows sure it on like a, a short. So it's like a little round thing. You just stick on right on your tailpipe. It goes bram bram. <laughs> oh, tailpipe gazoo. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. get too loud. Trouble. Oh, you can't get down in trouble down here. These Mustangs, man, you can hear them from friggin' two miles away. The best sounding exhausts I've used are Borla exhausts. You know why? They're Italian. They got to sound the best. I got cherry bombs on my uh, Oldsmobile. I'll put cherry bombs in the toilet. <laughs> I put a cherry bomb on. I had a Ford Escort. I put a cherry bomb on it. Yeah. I got dual cherry bombs, man. Sweet. <laughs> My buddy had a 79 Ford or something like that with dual cherry bombs. It was a plow truck. Why did I have Flowmasters on? I had a Flowmaster on something, too. I forgot. And then we on after that. I'm making the Dennis. I'm making a few extra of, of the uh, camera mounts. Mm -hmm. I know oh, we're not going to be the, we're not going to be the only ones with MT12s, and people are going to be asking. <laughs> that cherry bombs on my truck. That flow masters on my. That ten dollars. Right. What are you Master. making ten dollars for? Four of these mounts that go on top of the uh, MT12. Go uh, promo for the new radio. The radio. You'll go promo. Yeah. Josh, did you ever finish that Jeep floor? No, still working on it. You're savoring the, you're savoring the joy, aren't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, John? You going over there this weekend? Going over where? Help your buddy. <laughs> uh, I was going to go to tomorrow, but I think I'm going to go uh, see the in-laws instead. Yeah. I didn't realize, I didn't realize <laughs> tomorrow was uh, Easter. Easter. Me either. <laughs> you know, I kind of made that oops, you know, Friday when I made the plans and my buddy got back to me. Later Friday night, and goes, um, do you realize Sunday's Easter? And I said, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be at um, church. Hmm. More known, more likely known as the racetrack. Hmm. Hey, church is a gathering of people. You, you know, I used to I used to call the casino church on Sunday morning. Because that's where the most meaningful prayer happens. Please, God, help me get my money back. <laughs> I need gas money to get to work on Monday. You know, <laughs> please, Lord, don't let me lose it all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> like I said, it's the most meaningful prayer. You don't want to. What's Sunday the most morning. sincere prayer, right? Right. You know, the most truthful, anyway. Yeah. Most like I remember a couple years back, I was dealing three card poker, and then this woman come three in card with poker. her uh, Sunday's best on after going to church and brunch, mm -hmm. and uh, I flip up on three card poker six six six, and she oh. absolutely went ballistic on me because I flipped that up and I looked at her and I go, "Ma'am, you're smoking and you're drinking, and you're in uh, a casino on huh. Easter Sunday. Huh. Who's who's the hypocrite?" Right. <laughs> she got triggered, hat, triggered by that one. Oh, my boss was saying right there. He 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 turned right around. And he he what he what I what I break. He goes he goes come here. I said oh shit here we go. He goes that was funny. He goes don't do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
But yeah, then again, the be conversation loose. between me and him and me were kind of like once a week. I ended up doing something stupid, and he ended up saying, "Don't do that again." Oh, it's funny, don't do it again. <laughs> it happens to me every week. I do something stupid. Yeah, you know. And I feel bad about it. Kurt, you going live on tomorrow? Uh, yes. Okay. He has to. I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, did you go live last night? No. You just had a uh, offline. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was it was funny. It was three or four of us that could have opened it up. We talked about it, and then we just kind of sat here and just BSed. Yeah. No, the eleven thirty. We're like, um, wasn't somebody gonna go live tonight? <laughs> yeah, the tank popped in. So you going live? Or am I going live? What's Tank doing over there? Getting ready for tomorrow. Getting uh -huh. ready for crawling. Charging up some batteries. I just realized I can't put a shorty pack in my uh, in my CCO two. Oh yeah, rounded on the edges. Is it why it's square? It doesn't fit a square pack. It it has a, a spot in the front to hold it, and in the back to hold it. But in the middle, there's nothing. So the battery is mm -hmm. just going to fall through, unless I cut a piece of styrene and make like a bridge or a, a bottom. It has no you, bottom. It's just going to fall through. Can you put foam in it or anything? No. No. Hmm. Because it only has a front bar and a back bar to sit the battery onto it, a full pack. In the middle, there's absolutely nothing. So you put you put it on the back bar and a little piece of foam on the front of it or behind it, and uh, it's just gonna get, fall get off. a get a Velcro strap to go around the. Am I gonna it's have to show it's you an open bottom on the chassis? See, it's an open bottom. You see the dry shaft. If I put a battery on there, it's bottom. just gonna fall off. That's yeah. what she said. It's an open bottom. All the way to the back, and then at the back, it's there's a little spot for, for the back of the battery, but like there's barely anything. So it is meant for a full pack. It's just I can't put a shorty pack unless I I build a bottom on it. Yep. And that's got a you have the stock silver can in there. Yes, running a uh, 1080. Quick run 1080. How is that? It's pretty good. I'm yeah. going to try it tomorrow for the first time with a 3S, just for the hell of it. That should be fast. Because I can. Yep. And I think I'll need the speed to climb those rocks that are over there. And the only reason it's I'm bringing beauty. this is to show, because everybody that where we're going, they all build comp rig and things like that. And I want to show them that I can follow them with hmm. a Tamaya truck and they have comp rigs. Yeah, that should be interesting. Why? Because I can. We yeah, want to prove. a little bit better tires, but they're not bad. Hey, That's Josh. four link, right? The four link in the front and back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh. How old is your house, yeah. man? And, That's... and I did lock this one. I did lock the oh. front and the rear. Yeah. My CCO one, the rear is locked. The front is not. Okay. Oh, looking at in the back of your But I do want to build a skid plate for this because this will hang up because it's kind of goes down. So yeah. I do want to build something to cover the whole thing. So it actually just slides. But right now, if I hit a a branch, it's going to catch on the transmission. Oh. Yeah. Do a sketch. I'll design it for you. Pretty easy. And this thing is already has already been scratched scratched up. Like <laughs> you can see that it's all come on focus. Scratched on the bottom. Yeah. <coughs> That's you just don't want to get that too tangled up or you'll pop those drive shafts. Are those the plastic? Yeah, the plastic. Everything is stock on here. Yeah. I haven't upgraded anything on this CCO2. Everything is plastic. Everything is stock. Eric, do you still have this the Bronco CCO two? Yeah, you do, huh? Hmm. 
I've been thinking about getting one, but I just, I don't know. Hey, do you drive it? I haven't driven in a, in a few months. Well, yes, yeah, I do. Oh, my goodness, these allergies, they suck ass. Should I make these deep dish? Yeah, I think I will. What truck are you putting those on, Eric? Echo. Now I gotta find the right remote for it. Yeah, okay. Nathan, I brought my uh, king hauler to the swap meet. Yep. I had about 15 minutes of driving, about two minutes of video because there was this little kid running right behind it. Oh, it runs, mommy. Look at oh, look at that guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, he's gonna. I'm like, he, he was like just learning how to walk he'd take four or five steps and then wiggle around i'm like oh shit he's gonna fall uh -huh. and sure as shit he's gonna i don't i mean if he fell in the car or whatever but i didn't want him to get hurt falling on the car you know right. yeah and i just couldn't he just wouldn't it's like oh shit <laughs> did you worked all those mechanisms on it for him yeah his little yeah, brother too was like, "Oh, look at that! He's throwing a spear!" Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did see some of that stuff. Yeah, I'll probably post that tomorrow. I gotta. It's probably like seven minutes of me walking around looking at stuff, and then I put a little bit of running video in it, just a little bit of the king hauler because the kid was in all the shot. I couldn't get out of my. Couldn't get him out. Oh of yeah. Shot. Right when he first start running up, I, I, uh, he ain't gonna see the king hauler anymore, to the very end. Huh. Everything kept everything worked. Oh yeah, everything worked good. Nice. I still have a little <laughs> problem with it. If I don't put the top on right. The guy still moves a little bit. I'm frozen. Yeah, you are. Uh, Must it be cold where you are? Yeah, he won't quite <laughs> go in and out of the hole. That's what I said. <laughs> That's, I'm sorry. <laughs> the direct way. <laughs> <laughs> Got the wrong, wrong to make it in a hole, man. That's the correct way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of rubs the side of the hole. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> That's all you can do. That's all you yeah, can do. I'm still big time frozen. Only one Stupid side. Stupid camera. Let's see if this one's any better. Yeah, this one's better. Yeah, only one side of the hole. <laughs> that one's not in there. It's yeah, too bad you know. can't rename. It's too bad you can't rename the Nightbot. To a different name because it would be cool having him like Beanfield and then he's talking. You're just that asking. That would be cool. Shouldn't. That would be cool. Duckman. Yeah, Duckman, Beanfield. I know if you say quack or something, Duckman will say something. No, you say Duckman. He says it gives drops your link. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you say Duckman. Right he says quack, you quack. be right back and it says Whoever whoever says it says bring back bring back Beanfield a beer. Yeah, I can bring Beanfield a beer. I don't know how Beanfield got so drinking, but you ask him if he's an alcoholic, he'll say why no. <laughs> I haven't built a kit in a while. I gotta figure out what to do. You read the directions, it helps. I'm gonna get that uh 
Read oh, Kurt, that, yeah. any bag, any anything come in yet? Yeah. Um, I haven't checked out Sly today, so I don't know. I'll have to go up there and check. Take another one. <laughs> there and check. Taking your old blurred out over there. Your package. No. Your package. This package. Oh. So, uh, Jen, how is that six by six running with the new axles? I just had to swap the transmission when I had the other transmission in it. Oh my gosh! What the stock SMR? ones? Yeah. Yeah. You put new well, I put the I put the I put the F or the SCX twenty four axles on it, and I had the stock transmission in it, and it did not. Like that, uh -huh. it was beyond slow. Wow! After reverse the, I gotta look up the dang turbo racing remote to reverse the throttle. Now that you've got it all modified, you can just send it to uh, KBRC thirteen, and then he'll send yeah. you his. Just do a swap. Yeah. Yeah, mine's got the. I don't drive mine because of the plastic uh, transmit. I mean the gears. I noticed the motor on mine gets real hot. It's all road worried out right. though. Yeah, they're like a hundred to one on their gear ratio. Stop. Oh yeah. Huh. So switching to these worm gears, it makes horrible. Oh, those axles have worm drive. Yeah. Okay. The ten twos, right? So you get good drag brake. You don't need any drag. Yeah, brake. yeah you don't need drag brake. What is yeah, does the FMS have worm gears in it too, or? That's the FMS he's talking about that has worm gears. No, it does oh. not have. That has a normal. The SCX twenty four has the worm gears. The FMS is. Oh. But you put them in that truck. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is that how most of the 24th oh, scale image? are? What? I'm sorry. Is that how most of the 24th scale crawlers are? Worm gear axles? I think it's only... I think it's only SCX-24. Huh. Mitchell's in the chat. How are you doing? So you put the 24 hey. transmission in it? Yeah, I just did. Oh, okay. All right. Pull the trigger, push the throttle to max position, and press the it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got to figure out which second truck I'm going to bring because you you almost got to bring two trucks just in case you bring break one. Yeah, but how many crawler type trail trucks do you have? How many do you want? What do you got, like two dozen of them? Well, not two dozen. Uh, my class one GCM racing. I got my comp truck. I got my six by six. I got two Wraith. I got a Gen 8. Uh, oh, there you go. Trail Walker, SEX 10, TF2. That's, a, that's 12. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> that's just CCO one, one, CCO two. That's fourteen. And he's well, only one up, My wheelie king. You have to make a one. Wheelie king? Does that count? Well, it's now a crawler king. It's like the original. King. Heavily modified wheelie king. It's now a crawler king. Hmm. Extended wheelbase. Four wheel steering. And I got my Cloud Buster, which I brought crawling one time. Oh. It didn't do too good. It was no. on the trails, but it didn't do too good on the trails. 
because you just have it stocked, right? Yeah. Well, it, the diffs are not locked, so as soon as you tried something, it was kind of weird driving yeah, it. Yeah. But it was fun. I just did it for shittens and giggles. How's it work, Josh? Not bad. I need a new rear drive shaft. I uh, modified one, and it's it does okay when it's on the ground, but if you pick it up, it vibrates. Oh, yeah. I know how you feel. <laughs> no box, Kurt. Kurt left. Oh, I thought I just seen him there for a second. No, he he's, just left. Now he's he's back. Back. Oh, now he's back. Yeah. I'm not going to ask about the the uh, thing that he was working on a while back. I don't he's know. right there. He's frozen. He just moves that slow. <laughs> he's, he's not frozen. <laughs> That's just his normal speed. We, we talked about it yesterday, and he says it's in about uh, 100 pieces. Like, it's in a lot of pieces. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he tried like the P word. The P word. He tried the yeah. motherboard or one of the board. Anyways, he fried it. He says, "Uh oh, he got to three hundred some degrees." Oh, there he is. What got to three hundred? Oh, the hot end. The tip. The tip. Just the tip. So is it, was he? Were you not getting power from the board to the fan? Is that what happened? He didn't have a fan on it. That's probably why it got that hot. Yeah. Yeah. Then the back is under warranty. He doesn't want to talk about it. No. But he's not sure about the warranty because he's changed so many things on it. It's Amazon just sent it back. Right. Yeah, they'll send it, they'll sell it to someone else. Maybe he can't hear us. If it's not a cinder block, he'll be happy. Well, he, you're muted. He can't hear him. You, you, you muted. No, he's not muted. <laughs> Yeah. Can't hear you, Kurt. <laughs> Keep talking like that. Or it's going to be a good night for us. <laughs> oh, it's in the garage. Plenty of technical issues over there. Yeah, he's frozen again. <laughs> it's, it's door, I see a door. He seems smiling this time, and he's looking at us. Yeah. He's, yeah. In that lane. he's in that lane. The signal takes a long time to get to us. <laughs> there you go, Mitch. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it does. Jay, is that your new bedroom? My new garage. Could almost make oh, it your bedroom now. It's a mess right now. I, okay, so to be fair. Okay. To be fair. Uh, this garage was completely 100% empty until I went and installed that door. Okay, why? Earlier. And I put the door in oh. and it started raining uh, a little bit. So I had to throw everything in here and just gave up. So, but <laughs> My new my new lights are installed. Nice. They're extremely bright. Nice. But cool. That's the update. I have to paint the bottom brick down here, do the epoxy on the floor, and is that it? Those are getting done when the machine gets here. Those right. Five. But <clears throat> anyone need a SCX twenty four chassis? No skid plate. I had to steal the skid plate. <laughs> <laughs> Give the citizens on. You're talking to the wrong group. <laughs> yeah. Then somebody's 24 scale ground. I don't know. Could I use it for that four wheeler build? I got a whole thing. I need it. If you have the SCX24, you don't need another chassis. Yeah. Okay. But you could use it. You could use it to do a trailer for your. Your uh, four by your um, four wheeler, the four wheeler. Put the four wheeler on it for a trailer. Like Josh had spare spare axles from the old one, he could set up the axle on it and actually make a trailer for it. You could actually make do that, Josh. I'd have to figure out links. Yeah, that's easy enough. You put one set of, uh, of axle at the back and you bend the front of the frame. Same thing I did with my camper trailer there on top. I just narrow the front, front like a boat trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and then you just you have yourself a nice SC, uh, SCX24 trailer and you make a bet on it I made a six. Oh. It's taking top speed a long time to log on. Oh, well, he was on. He was on. He, he just showed scratch. us the charge. That's true. That's true. Jeez, brain fart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Kurt, 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 you remember. I'm migrating to the base. I can remind you. It's all right. Kurt is uh, having technical issues still with his frozen image. <laughs> I think Kurt's going to have to migrate to his room. Right. Yes. The cat won't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> the cat won't huh. let him in. I think the cat's the one that's been taking that printer apart more and more. Probably. That noisy thing that's still in sleep. Brad says he has to get up early tomorrow so he can't join us. Oh. <laughs> Wonder what he's get doing. Get up early for what? He's going for Easter uh, breakfast. Somewhere? Oh, yeah. He's going yeah, over probably. to his friend on Easter. This is his friend let him over. Man, it's been a year. Damn. No, it was Christmas, wasn't it? I might have been Thanksgiving. Either. Was it Christmas? It was Thanksgiving that was he was excommunicated. Yeah. Right. <laughs> When he was just Must have bought him a set of blinders. Six months. Yeah. Ish. Five months. Oh, and I have my military Our glasses. Cross RC military truck. That's another crawler I forgot. So 16 ish. You can bring that with you tomorrow. No, I only have 12. What are you talking about, 16? I thought, I don't know. I was counting, and I, that's how high I got. Oh, and my red cat. Uh, Gen 8. No, it's a mm -hmm. red, red Gen seven. cat. It's, it's like a small little, anyways. AX10? Yeah, something like that. Or the I R can't remember where the heck I got that. The RS10, or the Danshi, or whatever. No, RS10. I think it's an RS10. The smaller yeah, the one. pre danchi Yes. Yeah. The main TJ. Hey, TJ. Hey, TJ. Hey. What's up, JT? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ben Rose? What's up, DJ? So should I buy a Fusion Pro from AliExpress for one nineteen? Yeah, they're on special. They're a pretty good price. A couple of my yeah. friends bought uh, two or three of them. He's happy. Last time I looked, it was cheaper than that. Yeah, you might wait tomorrow. It might go down or it might go up. You never know. From from yeah, one so... day to another, changes. That's way cheap. That's pretty good though. You getting that, John? Yeah, I'm working on it right now. <laughs> I've seen us both moving at the same time, so <laughs> I can't wait to see this. <laughs> what? Yeah. Spin Rush needs a link. See yeah, what? That's what we're working on. Oh, oh. got it. Thank you, guys. Not a problem, Keith. Uh, Keith, you should make me a co-host. Like that, I can spotlight, I can make him bigger, and like you don't have to worry about it. If you yeah, go on okay. my three little dots, you should yeah, be able to... Yeah, I know to... how to do that. Thank you. I know how to make okay. a host. Oh, look hand, at the sass coming from Keith. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, don't be... I know how to do that. I know how to it's do that. It's on my notes. <laughs> on my notes? <laughs> on my notes. My Let me read my notes, Tank. <laughs> Oh, he made me the host. Didn't, didn't make oh, I made you the host. Oh, I guess I don't know how to do co-host. God damn it. 
Marshall Power. Not leave like Kurt did and shut everybody down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I got the power now. I can, I, can sassy, put, huh? I can put Keith in the waiting room now. <laughs> <laughs> What happens when you get sassy? I don't think you're enabled co-host because I'm looking on your you on your Zoom, and it does not permit me to make somebody a co-host, just a host. So maybe you did not enable it, but oh, we can work that out. Settings. Later. Yeah, we'll work that out later. So hey, Pete, Rush. Hey, how you guys doing today? Did you want to do something? What's up? So, what's the rant? <laughs> <laughs> they call me JT. <laughs> oh, look, look, what, look what Gems just finished building. Oh, that's there you go, trailer. Tank. Is it to so me? When did you finish it? Uh, probably about two o'clock today. Okay. And that's going on the King Hall, or, uh, Josh? Yep. Yeah. Already driven around the a, house. You want to put a pig pen in the back? No, the a Tamiya fits on it real nice. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it looked good. Mustang. That's why I didn't put the side things on it. Oh yeah. All right. They're a little chintzy too. The plastic things. Yeah, I bent the hooks and screwed them on. Oh, they got so like tie down downs. Ones. Yeah, I thought about just screwing traps into the sides so they yeah. can go over the tire. Good idea. You know, at the hardware store, you can buy those. Uh, they look like a little hoop, and there's a hole in the middle. Yeah, that on the side. Even uh, I think Walmart has them, like in the yeah. where you find stuff to hang pictures or whatever. Yes, definitely. They've got the small ones. scale D rings at Hobby Lobby too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever I use, I have to use a self tapper because I don't want to pull all this plywood back off. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your rant about uh, Spin Rush? The cleaning job I got to do today. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I uh, took the. Uh, Techno SCT out to the track yesterday, and uh, it had rained the day before. Ooh. And one track was really dry, and we were running on that for a minute. But uh, we just I just couldn't resist the chance to hit the big track, which had a couple puddles. Well, even though I drove around them, doesn't matter. The Badlands, the Badlands picked up everything. <laughs> and now I gotta take the chassis and strip it. Well, here, you know what? Let me stop talking. Yeah, let's see the damage. Oh, it's it's really filthy in there. I don't think it's so yeah. no. that looks really dirty, man. Oh, wow. that's horrible. Oh, wow, horrible. that's I dirty. Are you talking <laughs> about? I got a couple of mud about underneath about my fingernails, man. Are you talking about the a carpet track outside? No, no, no. I, I was running on dirt. <laughs> well, you thought it was dirt, but it didn't look like dirt to us. <laughs> no, no. Uh, that don't look like that. Don't look dirty. <laughs> that don't look dirty at all. The only thing that I really found interesting again that was a shakedown run. Was I? Oh, man, the camera's not going to catch this. The drive shaft, I can see something is rubbing, so I've got to see if that screw is too high or something like that because the shaft's got these scrapes on it. But other than that, the car was great. That's good. Yeah. But so where was that picture that you posted where you were outside? It looked like a barn. Uh, that's Funabashi Dirt Field. Uh my second time going to that. Basically, it's a cow farm, and the guy built a dirt track uh, out of the excess area they, they weren't using for crops. Um, 
Yeah, that's that's out in Chiba, not too far from the international airport here. Great place, man. We 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 brought everything out yesterday. We went we went big, and uh, just had a blast. Now let me show you something. This let me show you something. Now, that's dirty. Let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> See, I recognize this, that. This is dirty. And on top of that, this is even dirtier. Look at that. Now that. Oh that's packed. <laughs> that was a oops. That was a oops. Did that? That didn't run like that, did it? After the fact? Yeah, I guess it still runs. I cleaned it all out. No, I mean, like, with all that mud caked in there. Oh, that was dust. 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 Oh. Yeah. But that dust is so fine to me; it looks almost like concrete. You know, it when is. it's just crazy. It was crazy how it was in there. Yeah, must not be good for those brushes on that brush mortar. So right now, I guess the solution is to try to find a, a company that makes a good mask or something for yeah. the inside there. Um. Some people like those uh, inner masks that cover everything up, the dust covers. Yeah. Some people don't. What, like the bag or like a... Yeah, it's a mask. Yeah. I yeah. had one of fishnet. them. It's like a yeah, fishnet. It was like a fishnet. Wow. I used a screen for a, a screen for a tent. My brother didn't have a tent anymore. And the I best thing to use is a woman's stocking. Go get a woman's stocking oh, yeah, that's a good and get one. some Velcro and you can make your own. Huh. All right. Honey... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ask her for some used one, the ones that are ripped or whatever. Take it, yep. cut it, and you just stretch it right over it, and it, it works perfectly. That sounds oh. real kinky. Oh, oh shit. Sure. Yeah. You can say, I'm I'm using my, my wife's netting. But make sure you don't use the one that looks like a netting, because those are no good. Those sexy ones there that looks like a net, that's with the big holes, they're no good. We're going to fucking return it. He's saying fishnet, fishnet, yeah. <laughs> Get the fishnets from you. Yeah, they end up smelling fishy. Uh -oh. <laughs> Put it back I together. used a tent; it worked really good. Cut a it tent? all apart, but yeah, it's about the consistency of that nylon screen. I'm trying to think of a manufacturer a that's real popular for those. I don't even have it anymore. Dusty Motors, I think, makes them. Yeah, that that's the company name. You got it. But guys, Techno is on a whole different level. <laughs> I had a guy come up to me and ask me if I had a gyro in there, man. And I was like, no, there's no gyro in there. That that rig runs just like that. I think I had I, I shared some video if I you guys want to see it. I wasn't pushing it too too hard, but Man, it just drives incredibly. Great, great rig. If you ever guys going to get one, that's looking like an awesome kit to put together. Uh, Perts in the bedroom. No package, Kurt. In here, Kurt. He's muted. You're muted, brother. Still muted. No package. Get it Monday. He's and, doing uh, something he doesn't want you to hear. He keeps muting himself. Yeah. Never on fries and nuggies. His wife's probably yelling <laughs> at him. <laughs> Person is 3D printer he's looking at. Yeah, I heard him. He's going to throw it in the garbage. I heard him say that. You're muted, Kurt. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, it was okay. Kurt. Yeah, Kurt. Brad. The button. Mute. Daddy of the Year Award fixed it. Oh. Somebody's got to put a text message in the chat. Huh. You got a Daddy of the Year Award? Like something that was broken. My daughter's purse. The oh. fell off of it. Oh, awesome. your daughter's purse. So you're not ready for you to take to work on Monday. <laughs> Daddy of the Year Award. So that's where all oh, yeah. the RC money goes. <laughs> well, if you'd quit 
locking me out from unmuting myself, then, you know, maybe I could, uh, you know. <laughs> I I locked him me, out. I, I'm the follow. one that muted him, then I locked him out. They <laughs> could not unmute himself. Uh, or, that's yeah. why you wanted to have that. being a bully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, tank. I'm, I'm JD paid him to do that. that I was given to me. Yeah. yeah. Power man. I accidentally gave you the power. <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. That's nothing compared to Bird's Laugh. 103. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro. You got a you long did. ways, Tank. You practicing. Okay. Three. Right. Wait, shipping. How does Brad laugh again? Maybe I can laugh like him? No, you I can't, can't do that. that. All right. <laughs> no, but I can't even do it. that. <laughs> I'm the hysterical. I'm the That's voice the most annoying guy. laugh I've ever heard. Boisterous. He should be on like a laugh track. Yeah. He can sell his laugh. <laughs> yeah, Does anybody have speedy. access to like one of those AI art things where you can you do spin rush, don't you? What's that? Didn't you do like an AI artwork with the hamster in a in an RC? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. We gotta get some that. pictures of Brad and put him in a Tamiya. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just like, a headshot. Like yeah. pick out the Wild Willie side or something. Yeah. What's his favorite? What's his favorite uh, RCs that are Tamaya? All of them. All yeah. of them. All of them. Maybe a grasshopper. Something like yeah, that. One of his first the, ones. Put them in that Supra, but make it. I was going to say, say, say it. The Hornet. <laughs> yeah, Hornet probably was his or first a wild one. Wild one. Something. Yeah. You got to get one of his real crazy looking pictures of him. Well, all we need is Guru to go show up, and we got that. He should make it so it's not box art. No, nope. he pissed, yeah. but... Then a little antagonize him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we, sure. we 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 can we can get it all get it all figured out, and uh, once I get the printer up and running, we'll print we'll print it and we'll send it to him. Give him a t shirt. Sure. Of <laughs> right, a hat and t-shirt. You got to find somebody that has a Tamaya at the skate park and put his picture on that. Mm. The only one I Broken can well, tank and bring one. I can. Uh, I only have the Mo six. I think maybe a monster beetle would be a good one for him to be in. Yeah, I want to give a quick shout out to JD for making that uh, fusion video, man. He actually threw my name on the title, but uh, yeah, it was a good video. Thank you, JD. Uh, fuck JD. Yeah, fuck that dick. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> well, we're not hostile. I was cool yeah. hanging out with him. Yeah, JD's cool. Mm hmm. Oh, Kurt, how many times your wife bug you to open that box today? None. She don't give a shit. How many times you bug your wife to open that box today? <laughs> she don't give a shit about this hobby. Yeah, that's what I meant is how many times did you bug her to open that box? Oh. <laughs> uh, see, she's the one that said you can cut the bottom and then retape it up. Right. Christmas trip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll never know. How will they know? <laughs> mm -hmm. You should have told her. Are you are you seeing that by experience? What? No one will ever know. No one will ever know. How will they know? I don't mind. Mine will probably get there on Monday. I think. Kurt just had that little boy sitting in that car seat. A oh, bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It won't show. It won't show the box, but it'll show me. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's probably because of the face. Yeah. What's in the box? What's uh -oh. in the box? Find out tomorrow. Uh -oh. Thirty. I want a big box. Right. Right Kurt. <laughs> There's a big box. <laughs> Almost an echo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, my package ain't that big, Kurt. But, yeah, why'd you say that twice? That's, yeah, what, that's, what, she, that's what she said. That's what they all say. <laughs> that's what Puffy says, right? Lure you into a sense of security. All uh, sense of security. <laughs> you, you cut in a box of retaping. It's called yeah. Home Again Virgin. <laughs> All right. What's it called? Keith? Cardboard rejuvenation. What were we talking about yesterday? Uh, Soaky. Yeah. <laughs> I should know. That. You should know. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> it's on your resume. <laughs> uh, Nate, I Yo. forgot about this guy. Oh, well, oh, man. Is that? That's yeah, after hours. Uh, oh, that's a cool crawler tank. Yeah, bring that. That's a twin hammer. Oh yeah, the Canadian. I made, I made it so it opens like this, so it actually opens up his mouth to put the battery. Uh, <laughs> I remember that's an you axial, making right? that. Twin hammer? No, that's a, a Vitera, right? Vitera. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool because when it jumps, is the ears. <laughs> that is adorable. Style. I remember you making that. Yeah. Did you just make some cloth? Did you use cloth to do that for the ears? That's felt. That's just it's, some felt? Okay. Yeah, white felt, and it's a full sheet. I basically put the sheet all the way around, and I just bolted the top back on it. So you can't really pull because it's full one piece. It's it's a full piece going across. Nice. And it's like a head liner for the driver. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, because when you look through it, you do see the kind of a head liner, yes. No, I appreciate that. Dumbo. And my body panels are actually just styrene. So it's just white styrene that I cut and I folded here. Because usually this is not there, but I kind of bended it and yeah. heated it. So it actually looks like a lot nicer. It's the styrene. Just Don't those googly eyes come that way or did you back them with the red? No, they came that way. Uh, the okay. original googly eyes I had on it were, were two of them, but then I was at the dollar store and I I saw these and they're actually two of them, and it's actually a full set with uh, that's like this with the red and I said oh this is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do look good. But yeah, they do they do uh, they do bounce. Well. Had some scratches on his cornea with ones. That's the reason why it's so good. I do have this one, but I don't count this as a trail. Tr well, it's a truck, but it's MF uh, MX01, whatever, same one that. Keith got, but as a bug. Oh, this is a truck. Oh yeah. What it's body? A is that really a Tonka? Hey. Is that a Tonka? No, no, it's a Mercedes that I painted like a Tonka. Hey. Uh, this is all paint eh? on stickers. Ah, uh, hey. Eh? I'm the old folks home. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the stock tires that come with it are really not good. Uh, eh? Yeah, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it was really weird. I picked up a servo on Amazon, and it did not say that on Amazon, but some servos you get, didn't say because it's got a servo on it, but like <laughs> it's as if it's broken. Weird. As Damn. if it's stripped. This servo, when there's no power to it, it's free. It like it has no resistance at all. That's weird. And as soon as I put power on it, it goes straight. Huh. It's, it's, futile. it's actually meant for robots. Interesting. Ah, maybe that's where that came from. I mean, Resistance future. is futile. Resistance is futile, yeah. Borg? It's a robot. Well, the Borg weren't robots. They were, well, they kind of were. Hi, Borgs. Yeah, they were half and half. Well, we're already cyborgs because of uh, how much technology we depend on. 
And uh, do you count a summit as a uh, trail truck? I don't know. Any any vehicles yeah, a trail right. truck? Yeah, it's a rock crawler. <laughs> yeah, you can make anything a trail truck. Yeah. Uh. So I guess I am close to sixteen. I think it's more. I don't know. <laughs> Just got to keep digging. <laughs> I don't know how you have that. Yeah, keep truck. looking. You'll find more. Yeah, look at. I bet, that, you, I bet you Josh has more than that. Oh, no. Josh? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only seen two or three when I was over there. I think Sarge's Jeep is a There's very 12 on that shelf. There's 12 on that shelf. <laughs> There's three <laughs> on top of that one. <laughs> well, there, there's a couple of them in front of the fireplace too, right? Just a couple. Oh, I forgot to call to count my 18th scale and 24th scale. So yeah, I guess I do have about a bunch of them. <laughs> Two dozen. <laughs> <sighs> oh, don't forget that little 32nd one you got too. Yeah. Do you guys think? Do you think Sarge's Jeep would do good in a competition? No, no. Too no. heavy. The CJ7. Yeah, yeah but Body's yeah, but look what it was doing out on the out there on them trails. It was. Yeah, that's with... different. That's out there on them trails. And you ain't got no gates. Pops are a whole different. It's, yeah, it's the gate going sideways and shit that you got to worry about. I like the CJ. I've seen two of them in the competitions. Uh -huh. They did not. <laughs> they didn't do good. They weren't top contenders. Mm -hmm. Just leave them on the trail where they belong. But they look good. Yeah, but they that was a serious look, yeah. trail. That's a, oh, that wasn't a really serious good trail. trail. Yeah, it was. Not even close, Keith. <laughs> not that. Yeah. I'll... Let me find a picture. I'll show you. <laughs> what are you crying about, Mitch? I was just kidding. <laughs> I, I just can't. I just can't wait till tomorrow to show the people the Tamaya and their their truck again. Uh, because if I do ninety eight percent of all the trails that they do, and I do miss some, or there's some spots I can't do, it's as if like. You guys spent hundreds of dollars on comp trucks, and this little two hundred dollar thing can keep up with you guys. Well, That's you're just trailing, thing. right? You're not. You're just trailing. Oh, there there is there is going to be some rocks. There is going to be some uh, some obstacle that they do and they take. So, like they were showing yesterday on the on the group that I am on Facebook. Like they're climbing a hill and they're trying to get over it and all that, and they go, "Oh, look at this! Oh, look at that!" Look, Come on. I'm gonna try that with mine, that's for sure. <laughs> Pictures of skull smoking joints. Oh. <laughs> KB KBRC is looking for skull smoking joints. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some reference picture. Yeah. Is the steering angle any? You know acceptable on the cco2 it's not bad yeah right here keith this is just an example of how some gates get set that's a about a three foot drop to the floor mm -hmm. and you have to hang a tire on that that jeep will not do that nope mm. top heavy my ecto um, can i don't think the cco2 would be able to do that yeah, found it. No, Ryan, it is not a comp truck. No, I'm probably sure the 10 twos won't do that either. I was driving well, it. Well, you got done too. If you were driving it, yep, <laughs> here's my bread finger. 
Maybe I should go from one extreme to the other. Bring the Tamaya and bring the RC four wheel drive bully. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Those bullies, man. Sounds like somebody dropped their phone in the toilet. <laughs> Splash. I did get the water. What? What? Oh, that's a badass picture right there. And then you get into a situation like this that some cop trucks will just kind of stop and sit like this. Yeah. Or they'll just keep going. Yeah, well, was he leaning on the ball? Yes, I was. Ugh. That front tire just set on it. Okay. And all, all I had to do was turn the wheel Aren't to the left a little you? bit, and it laid right back over. Okay. But you did get a penalty because you touched the wall. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely uh, situations that comp truck versus that CJ aren't going to do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, it's a different type of experience. It's a scale yeah. experience. Right. Uh, yeah, but it's a damn pretty good damn crawler. I think. Oh, yeah, it's definitely capable. Set a gate up on top of that rock and you got to get to it. And this is just practicing. Cool. It's a vertical climb that that CJ will not do. So yeah, you got to have quite a bit of money put into your truck to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the stock ten twos are pretty competitive. Just all you got to do is just set them up right. But yeah, that that truck with all the weight. Being top heavy like that, it's too much weight, huh? Yeah. You know, you got a dig servo, you got a two speed servo, you got all that top weight. Plus, he he's still using a long shock on it, where he's getting all that travel movement. Oh yeah, which just makes that body a. Uh... Weight tumbling around. So when you engage dig, it just puts the rear in neutral. Is that right? It, locks it should lock it. It, it locks parking, it. Think of it as a parking brake, e brake. So it does yeah, lock it because because on a if I was a gonna, lot of little stipulants in here. So to do that on a one to one, you'd need a line lock for the rear. If you had a, had a transfer case that could dig, because I was building a transfer case for a Jeep a while ago. To do, to have it so it would do just front wheel drive mm. when I wanted to, but it would basically leave the rear neutral. But that's not the case with these RCs. They, yeah, the way it works is that there's a uh, lockout inside the hub or inside the case of the transmission. Yeah. Oh, radioactive back. says radioactive. Sorry, says. Uh... Trail, a trail crawler, a big box arrived today. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's jail. He showed up. Yeah, he ordered Boy. a um, uh, SEX6 honcho. <laughs> he has and the honcho. He ordered the Jeep, I think. Yeah, he got the Jeep, the Wrangler. The Wrangler, okay. And he didn't say which one he got, so I'm just going to take a guess and say he got the green one. Ooh. He's he here. That's a green. Huh? He got the green one. Heath likes the green. Heath will get the green one. I'm going to say, like, Brad. Oh, green. It's, it's green. green. It's green. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> Heath. Yeah. Yes. You love that. It's green. It's green. 
Yep, he said he got the green one. You think Brad's watching us right now? No, oh, definitely. He's asleep. He's sleeping. He's asleep, yeah. sleeping. <sighs> or or I don't know. If not, he's sitting there just throwing his finger at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne said, thanks, Josh. Look what you started. <laughs> so there is a manufacturer warranty on this thing. So oh, yeah. let's see if I'm going to contact them. Put it all back together. See, you I know, told you, Kurt. I'm you think the, to me. Do you think the board is bad on it, Kurt? Well, yeah, because the fan won't come on. Yeah, that's so a they brand can new, just send you a board. It's a, it's a brand new fan, so... Yep, that's probably the whole beginning of your problem was the. Yep. And then, right? and then when I did the temperature test, if somebody had me. I for, don't forgot who it was, but I, uh, I uh, put the gun on there, and it was like three hundred degrees when I first yeah. did it, and it shouldn't get that hot. That's crazy hot. Well, at least you know you could run high temp materials now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I had it set at what two hundred, I think it is, and it was up over three hundred. Yeah, so you should be able to run pet G, no problem. And I think you already could do that on that machine. Yeah. So. Well, hopefully they'll just tell you to send that one back and they'll send you another one. Well, that'd yeah. be nice. Or at least can Sometimes they'll just send you the part. They don't even want the old one. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, right. I got to put it back together and make it look good, though, in case they want pictures. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wires here and wires yeah, there. Right. Well, they might ask you a couple of questions about so they can diagnose it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You got it through Amazon. They can ask shit. Find well, pictures not online. I, not if I send it to Amazon. Yeah, Amazon will just send you another one. Just mm -hmm. keep it's been, that one thrown away, do whatever you want to do. Send a been, picture from their ad, they won't even see anything. It's been seven months though, so I don't know how Amazon is after that. Might have a one year warranty from the manufacturer. It's a manufacturer one year warranty, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if I tell you go through your reality and do that. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send reality an email. This shit broke. Yeah. Just tell them your shit broke. This shit broke. Fan's not working. And Almost the prints, the house down. Prince the first. Row halfway and stops. Yeah, just say the fan ain't. It's not getting powered. You mean if you put a meter on that and you didn't measure any voltage, so that's yeah. I don't know. I haven't put a meter on it because I don't have one. So you don't have a meter. What? You I work with RC and you don't have a meter. Oh, nope. you have a meter? Yes, absolutely. Well, do you? Yeah, no. I got one somewhere. I, uh, I'm sure I do. It just don't work. It's with that broken fan. Yeah. Me, me and electrical do not work good together. Well, and this yeah. damn friggin' <laughs> camera. At the very least, it's good to know if your your car battery's got you know a good charge or if your alternator's working. At least you can check that. Hmm. What's up, Dirk? Yeah, he says he's not oh. 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 I have to. Sure. I do have one. It just doesn't. It hasn't been turned on, and I don't know how long. I know he has no power. Work. That sucks. Said his power has been in and out all day. So he's in the Too dark. Many people charging there. Teslas out there. Yeah. All right. Power <laughs> grid's browning out on you again, huh? He's been in the dark for a long time. That guy. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> he is in California, right, Kurt? Yeah, down south. So, so Cal in Ron. Oh shit. Reminds me of the Enron days. Take this off. Is that a that's a structure fire? He is the darkness, he says. What the heck's happening? Out. Let's see if they fan out again. No, this thing is huge. Los Angeles, huh? What is that? An uh, electric car fire? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. A couple of Tesla dealers. Is that that that's factory cool. there? The, what the heck that factory was? Must there. be a lithium battery. Why? Why? Down Skynet. 
I know that that looks like a house. That's an apartment complex. Oh yeah. man. Well, that's no joke. That's from a lipo? No, I don't know. Where they don't know. <laughs> that's from a lipo. Look at Keith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Keith, you're you worried about know. lipos, it's man. Possible. God. <laughs> that's from a lipo? It could have been some cleaning <laughs> brush motor and alcohol. Oh, check mine outside. Hey. What the hell? Look. I'm trying to get this camera to work. Yeah. Camera's just as bad as my computer on the garage. Oh, night by God, Dirk. <laughs> no caps. Only Why three emojis. Can't, you can't yell in caps? Nope. nope. Huh. People wouldn't have lasted long. <laughs> he said, hey, Keith, it's from a nymph battery. Oh. <laughs> That's what started it. Hey, that, just because it's not a light bulb don't mean it won't blow up. Exactly. Yeah, nymph, nymphs can get pretty hot. Oh, shit. Keith. Something exploded. Damn. It was a NIM battery of Traxxas ends. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a, a Traxxas NIM battery that exploded. Uh, it's okay. It's okay if it's Traxxas. Right. EVP. Mark Santa Maria won't let that happen. What are you talking He's the Traxxas fanboy. Yep. Keith and Mark Traxxas Maria. Yeah, I guess tomorrow I'll do that if I have time. Put it back together. Just in case they want a picture of it. Uh, just send them a picture off the manual. Right. Or off the internet. Yeah. Box art. Brand new fucking camera. Right off the Amazon ad, they wouldn't notice probably. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they have pictures of that. Uh, <laughs> I can always send you a picture of mine. Yeah, you don't have a, the same one, though, huh? I think they'll notice it's a different color. Yeah. <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> well, it changed color. I don't know why. Stuntcock. First of all, this isn't the right 3D printer. <laughs> Second of all, it's not working. Take a screen grab of one of your videos. All right. Let's go back in time. When you took a picture of it, when it was still in one piece. Or the one off yeah, the that's website. what I was going to do with my... Uh, Alive or... When you bought it. Yeah, with a clear white background all looking nice and pretty. Yeah, I'll send them that one. Here's my picture. Mm -hmm. Watermark on it. Yeah, Can right. It? <laughs> Blackout. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's one. Oh, no, it's all crazy looking. Oh, so many fuckers. I was going to do that with the Blackout. I hate to put it all back together and then them go then, the part, then I gotta take it all back apart. Or you send them a picture of it and they're like, Yeah, just send it to us and we'll send you another one out. <laughs> <laughs> and now you so, have to put it back together. Blame it on the shipping. We used to pull them apart and then trip off. <laughs> <laughs> I told them it was <laughs> fragile. Mm-hmm. Good Chile. Guy that was looking at the blackout. He goes, "You got any running video?" I should have sent him the video from my, my YouTube channel. Red, red cat running video. That's insane. Red cat. Yeah, I got a red cat blackout. It's a basher, but it's that sweet. What is it? Did you just get that, Keith? No, I had it for a little while. I only ran mm. it a couple of times. It doesn't do good in rocks. Like, what the hell? Were you, were you trying to rock crawl with it? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to rock crawl everything. Gravel. It doesn't do good. Uh, it doesn't like gravel. That's no, weird. the friggin' in the spur gear is all sealed up. 
but rocks oh, get into the spur gear and you have to take it all apart every time you drive the damn thing. Yeah, I remember every that single time, time I yeah. drive. It. Every single Welcome time. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Nick, you, you didn't even get dirt worse. on that car. This thing's filthy. It has two specks of dust. <laughs> <laughs> Look how dirty this is. Wait, where's the dirt? Freaking <laughs> carpet lint. Right, <laughs> I want that red cat too. It stopped in the middle of a puddle, also. So much for water. Well, that's 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 real race dirt right there. Hey, Nate, what's your last word? Your last name Caldwell. Okay. Uh, you send you an email that Brad sent me. No, never mind. That's Bardwell. Brad sent you an email? I don't know. I just sent it to you. Okay. He's giving Brad your email. <laughs> Brad has my email. Guarantee. Did he send you this one, though? I don't know. He's got everybody's email. No, he doesn't. He don't have oh, the yes, 50% does. off thing? Yeah, he, sure he, he does. He's yeah, got everybody's that's... email. As, as long as he gets an email from Tank, he's got everybody's email. Yeah. Well, I haven't got an email from him, so. No, I haven't either, so. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good deal, man. For the Super Avante? Super Avante 247? That's pretty good. It's two. So it's, how much is it after the discount? 247 on sale. Regular 495. Oh, so it's it's 50% off full retail. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Still a decent deal. What about the uh, DT2? TD2, I mean, that's a little cheaper. Should I don't be. know which one I like better. 207. I would take the Avante because it's 4x4. Four four. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's tempting. Thank you. Paul. Thanks for reminding me that I want to buy something. <laughs> and optional parts are on sale too. Right. So now you're going to go buy a car and you're going to buy the optional parts because they're on sale. Yes. Right. And you need them because it's a Tamiya. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Bearing kit. The optional. Actually, like these might come with bearings. I believe they might come with, they probably come with bearings. I like the uh, the astute. See, JD, I can do it too. <laughs> Talking about Brad having everybody's email, and he says, not mine. And I told him, I said, I'll make sure I send it to him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> famous <Right>. last words <laughs> it's like in there, oh this is JD's email he wants you to send him everything about RC's that you know he was wondering if you could help him out with a Tamaya right <laughs> that and it doesn't him. matter what kind just send him pictures he just needs you to tell him what to get he wants to know which Tamaya would be good for where he's at <laughs> you guys are evil. That's mm -hmm. funny. Uh, Yelling, right? You hell, you get so many emails. We make them make you change your email. Hmm. What's wrong with people these days? They live in the society of being scared. We're having an eclipse next week, and Niagara Falls is right in the center of that eclipse, and they've called a state of emergency. They're doing that everywhere because they don't know about the expecting crowds of people. Niagara region declares a state of emergency to prepare for solar eclipse crowds. Fuck. Oh, yeah. So where else, So you're saying there's a state of emergency everywhere? Who's... Who's who are you know, pretty of... much every state every state that that the total path of totality is taken in, in the line of all activated state of emergencies. Yeah. 
Huh. So that ca- that in case something goes on, they can uh, immediately enact national guard. That's the only reason. We're about to be visited. Zombies and the arrivals right. is upon us. Is that, is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah, the arrivals. I, I thought that I thought that was years ago with Hailbot. I don't know. Oh yeah, all those people that committed suicide, so they can take a ride on a comet. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. There is going to be a comet going by. They said. Is Cupid Who's they? Duckman and Beanfield, or right? Yeah. Come by where? <laughs> I think that was Kali. I'm pretty sure they said that. Somebody. Last uh, time it we had it was in 2017. There was a eclipse. I remember that. Yeah, there uh, was a comet. Was there a comet too? Uh, Going up to the spirit. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, Kurt? I said Keith don't know. Keith knows a lot of things. Pretty far no. no, he doesn't. I bet Brad would know a lot about the com about the eclipse in the comments. Yeah, let's go. He's surprised, Kurt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go up, Sean. Hey, Sean. What's up, Sean? What's up, Scene? Scene. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna butcher everybody's name. <laughs> <Kurt, you're not. laughs> <laughs> everybody's name. Run it backwards, run it sideways. <laughs> Is it still seen? <laughs> I don't know how to stuff, but I don't know how to spell, so. Oh, shit. Uh, I can go back to the days when I was calling J- John James. <laughs> no, Jim. Jim. Everybody calls me Jim. Jim. John. Because it's JM, you just, it's just rolls off your tongue. Jim. Like, damn it. The first thing you saw was the jam. So everyone's like, hey, jam, see the jam. <laughs> spell his name. I'll put Jom on it. Jom? What's up, Dwayne? How you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. I gotta get better. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that battery tray worked fit perfect in there. You sent the right one there, Mitchell. Oh, cool. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. I started working Probably on that car deal, again. Man. That's my wife's nickname. Her name's Michelle, but I call her Mitchell. Mitchell. I can bed. Oh, Mitchell! <laughs> Whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Whenever the mood strikes. Yep. Are you cheating on me now? Call me my, <laughs> my nephew's like, my name's Michael, but it's Michelle in, in French. So I started going, okay, Michelle. <laughs> In, Fr- yeah. in French, whenever somebody's name is a variant of M- Michael, it's just Michel. They just they don't know how to uh, uh, do anything other than say Michel. Yeah. Uh, so the French are responsible for the world today. Hey, Frank. Sure. <laughs> what do you think? Am I wrong? You're wrong. I say Michel. <laughs> you, could, you could be Michael. Right, but so I know some guys from Belgium, and they just call... Mikhail, they call him Michelle. This is Michelle. Or Mitch. Yeah. He... Mitchell. <clears throat> I know a lot of people call me Frank, but that's not my name. But that's, that's true. Point. That's that was started by what? Brad? Francois. <laughs> Francois. Okay. Yeah, I said Francois one time and he's like, Why did you call him that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My wife's nickname is Rudy. (laughs) Rudy? Uh, She that small? Put her on her shoulder. (laughs) 
is Trey. You on Bob? I'm taking my old clod buster body. I'm going to run it on my black edition so I don't mangle the body because this one's pretty mangled. Okay. Mm. It's cracked. What do you have on the front? Is it the original front end? Yeah, but it's not a bow tie one. It's, okay. it's, oh, okay, okay. It's from like high school. I bought this in the 90s. The hell is that? Oh, I'm sorry. That got you late, didn't it? Here, Dustin. That wasn't you. I was watching, so he's watching cool. something. Mitch, you going to be getting out this week? Try and get some runs in? Oh, I sure as heck hope so, but you know what, dude? It has been absolutely windy as I'll get out. I had this car. I, I took this TTO one out because I wanted to run a body. Good kitty. And um, for the first time, and dude, I was afraid to even pull the trigger just to gust the wind that was coming. I didn't even bother to try and send it. But Hopefully this wind calms down. Hopefully I get a couple nice days. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm definitely gonna be slowing down with crappy doing in the garage. So it's other than epoxy in the floor and stuff, and can't do anything in there for a couple days anyway. Once I do that, so hopefully. And I still have to run the Hebeo. I gotta. I got. Yeah, it's pretty much done, ready to go. So, the Bayo's got to get a 2F run in. Waiting on that nice weather, right? Yeah. We shall see. See how many cars I can destroy this year. Yeah, that's the way I like to think, too. <laughs> yeah, you just got to look at it and say, you know what? How many crashes are in the budget? Yeah, right. I like to say, I wonder how many crashes this car can take before I have to replace parts on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I I crashed this Tamiya with the with the old body. That's why I wanted to stop running the old body. I'm like, if I keep doing this, I'm just going to destroy this body. So to where there's nothing left of it, it's pretty bad. But I crashed it the other day at 102, and freaking picked it up and put it back on the ground and <laughs> did it again. <laughs> There she goes. Keep going. Oh. They're tough little cars. I give them that. Without a doubt, dude. I mean, I I can't believe it. I, I jumped mine and it breaks right in half. You all right? You're like, <laughs> How much weight did you add you to the body and stuff, Keith? Nothing. It was stock. Mm -hmm. yeah. You didn't add any well, scale accessories? Had a couple, your yeah, roof a couple, rack or... yeah, but that was all just plastic stuff. <laughs> Nothing. You know, uh, heavy. Probably 10 gallons of fucking paint. <laughs> and glue. 20 pounds of chew goo. 20, 20 pounds of goo. Chew goo. <laughs> 20 pounds of goo. <laughs> We've all seen your paint job. And what were you doing to that trailer uh, with the wheels on it? What did you spray some what? Um, fix it flat. Yeah. It wasn't fix it flat. It was that seal, the the foam stuff. Oh, yeah. Is that just so the tire stays 
Yeah, that was yeah. just an experiment. They, them tires would go flat. I heard he changed them twice already, putting two new front tires on there. It seems to work. Yeah. For garden tractor. That's interesting. Yeah, let's see why not. Yeah. Those had, because yeah, the we, air filled ones always seem to blow out right off the rim. That's what we do with our booms and uh, a certain forklifts, our big reach forklifts at work. We fill foam fill them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that way you don't have to, you know, run in over nails all the time. They're always getting flat. So you foam fill them and don't worry about them no more. I did something like that to my wheelbarrow because in mine, it kept getting flat. And I put some foam in there. Like, you want that the low expansion foam or something, probably not the high expansion. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. I just I just bought some at Walmart. It was cheap. And I think they had a tube in there, so I drilled it through the tube too. I'm not 100 percent sure if they're tube or tubeless. Oh, uh, but it friggin' worked. Took a couple of days to dry. <clears throat> Hell, I think you can use expansion foam to make a crawl course, inside or outside. Yeah. Because that's great for filling, it's great for what it's used for, filling in gaps. I'm going to do that to the back ones, too, when they go flat. Yeah, might as well, right? It works. I did that yeah. to my, I didn't do it to my John Deere, but uh, I had a company do it a long time ago. They did it to the John Deere. And now the, t the tires in the John Deere are the rubber is almost gone. You can see the foam in there. They're so old. <laughs> you see that I'll send another picture on the WhatsApp, but there's like there must be 200 holes in that friggin' tire. All little pinholes in that damn thing. It's like, man. What are you where driving? All the foam in? came out. Just not even anywhere on the friggin' deck. I don't know where it got all them holes on. It's crazy. Horns, cactus. Yeah, did you drive over some cacti? No. Hell, you can drive. Hell, you can drive over a mesquite branch and get a hole. Oh, oh I know scorpion. that. Fucking mesquite will give you a flat tire in your car. Yeah. Mesquite. Yeah, mesquite. Yeah, yeah. mesquite is sharp as shit. Huh. They are fucking badass, man. Their thorns are big, too. Their thorns looks are like. about friggin'. Their thorns are long, big. You don't know yeah. what a, you know what a mesquite tree is? I, yeah. yeah, I know it's a tree, but I don't yeah. know what it looks like. Yeah, it's friggin' badass. You know badass. what it looks like when you step on one. You'll never <laughs> forget it. <laughs> We got one outside. I'll take a picture of the thorns. It's a thorny tree? Yeah. You can do barbecue with it? Yeah. Sweet. I guess if you dry it out and shit. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, yeah, you mesquite wood? Be, yeah, yeah, mesquite yeah. wood is always, that's what I use a lot of, but it's, yeah. here is the thorns. We had one in our backyard. We still got one in the backyard. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, bad that's... boys. They, they, yeah, they them go bad in boys. And... Them bad boys hurt. Yep. That what are those like an inch long spike? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I haven't seen this. Out. Check this out. Look at his hand. Uh, yeah, yep. well, it's like two inches long. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Them bad boys hurt. My ne my cousin, we had a tr we we were flying a kite, and of course the the kite has to hit into the mesquite tree. My cousin, I mean not my cousin, my nephew's like, "I'll go get it." He runs over there. He was just a little kid. He started climbing up there. Oh, 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 oh! What? <laughs> I was like, "What are you climbing yeah, up?" Mesquite tree. <laughs> I said, you "You're don't climbing climb up the tree. mesquite tree, you dumb butt." <laughs> He's like, "Oh my god, I'm bleeding all over the place." <sighs> Like, get out of that damn mesquite tree. But it does make food taste good. It does. Yeah, it does. Got a good smoky oh. flavor. Yep. 
I wonder why it's so defensive. Does it? It knows it makes food taste. Yeah, I was just gonna get, I was just gonna get cut down and burnt right. up. <laughs> I'm taking it with me. for it. I've put you that in my barbecue it. before, and I never got hurt. Huh. Right. And I tell you, you cut one of them things down, you don't know when the mesquite's going to come back and get you. Yeah, J.D., them, them, them needles, boy. Woo. It could be days. It could be months. You could be out playing, and three months later, you come in with a mesquite tree in your foot. See? You don't know? Yeah. That's hmm. Brad facts. <laughs> I bet he knows all about it. <laughs> the heck did my no. little eraser go? Somebody's got to start a live Brad facts. <laughs> we told Brad to start a, a live of Brad Frax. Yeah, and he, Brad oh, facts can't do it. Because he says he can't think of it uh, on a on a snap like just to do a video of Brad facts and talk about that. He, yeah, he just comes up with it. He can't think about it. He just comes up with it. Well, you gotta you gotta just start it out and not have that pressure on, and then eventually, yeah, it'll start to happen. That's what she said. Oh <laughs> 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 smoke is huh. you're making me cough fire. now oh yeah that that hay fever that pollen man is still blowing i don't know how much you guys get but over here the yellow dust is yeah this, this this weed man this weed is strong <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to call it the yellow dust the yellow dust oh, shit. so yeah, i watched my yeah, car yeah, yesterday. where you're at Correct. My bad. And I'm, <laughs> as I'm as I'm drying off my car, I go. I draw off the front, spray the wax on it, wipe it off, go to the back. By the time I go from the back to the front, my car is covered in pollen already. I'm like, I just like fuck. It, I quit. <laughs> Get that green shit. The old and, uh, all that crap. Uh, Big head posted. Oh yeah. When he walked through the parking lot, my god. You don't have to deal with none of that shit. Get oak pollen now. I get dust. Dust in the summer, <laughs> and that's it. We get dust from Mexico. So well, I went on AliExpress and I ordered some little tiny motors to put in the winch to replace a motor winch. And uh, since I was there, I ordered a couple of other things. I've received everything so far except for what I wanted, which <laughs> I mean, that's usually how it works. All right. It's like I don't want. I want those. It's like I ordered some tires from California. <laughs> they just now got to Vegas. Oh, I won't probably see those until next Friday. <laughs> Yeah, then I said, I'll make those pro builds a deep dish. You know, oh, you're waiting for those tires to put on those, right? Yeah. And you've got the, the SWL hub for the back? The what? The hub that goes on the back of the wheel. Oh, yeah, they came with all that. Is it just a standard four millimeter or six millimeter that they give you? Yeah, yeah. But I do have some. I do have some weighted hubs. Well, those, they are going to stick out a decent amount with that offset built. So. Yeah, I know. I'll test it out. I may go the middle, 
Mill might be better. We'll see. Well, the nice thing about that is, is you could turn the whole fucking the drum of the wheel around uh-huh. and go with a, a negative offset to them now. Yep. I think I have mine on a on the deep set. No, I'm not. Mine are set deep. I got them to the outside of the drum. I had them on the inside, and it was a little too too far out. Far out, man. Yeah. I'll try them out, and if I don't like it, then I'll go in. Why is that off? You should be on. Yeah, yeah to, me, to me a Grand Prix. We're having the the first major event today. It's probably right. what you want to watch. Oh man, I can't believe I missed it. Grand Prix. Hey, John, it didn't look like it was supposed to be bent. Now I gotta go back out there. No. Freaking drill is out there. Is that the one you just put together last night? No. Did this you end up this, racing that one today? This, 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 what's that? Did you race that one today that you put? I together did. Last I did. Night? I didn't finish it last night, but this is the the modified that Josh and you and everybody loved the gauntlet. Oh. Yeah. That this this one finished fourth in the points race today, or po- fourth in the point series today. Oh, this one's getting torn down. Uh oh. I'm going through it and finding all my bent screws, all my bent parts, and yeah, shocks are going to get rebuilt. Transmission is going to be back, gone through, and then I'll be back at it in two weeks or three weeks. But in the meantime, I'll probably be paring down another two more chassis. You got that IFS truck done and ready for Beat the Creek? Uh, Beat the Creek. Beat, Beat the creek. Uh, where is it? So it's it still doesn't have. I'm not. In, I'm not. I'm not going to obviously be in the competition. But yeah, it's. Electronics and running. He's got to throw a body on her. And lights. But the uh, two wheel drive one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then I'll uh, see how that handles. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to get a winch on the nose of it. Just because it needs it. What I need weight? No, it's two wheel drive. I'm gonna go. You're gonna run a crawler course. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna run it at Beat the Creek. Oh, like I said, it's gonna be a lot of winching. Yeah, I know this. And I'm gonna run it to my yard. It's gonna be a lot of winching. <laughs> I might have an advantage though, because four wheel drive. Yes, and shorter wheelbase and narrower. <laughs> for Mike and Maya. Uh, oh, I can't wait. Yes. I sent a message, but this is how I'm charging my batteries right now, and usually ninety percent of the time. Yeah. yeah. You just so stack them all, all up the like light that. I piled up, and they're charging. Where was that picture? Where Thanks, Bree. So I'm charging this one right now. This one's charging. There's another one hanging over here and there's another one charging right here so i got three batteries right now small ones charging on the charger 
that Helios looks like it's got a little puff on it. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had a couple oh. like that. Puff but it's still balanced. Dragon. It's still good. So I'm running it. I don't care. It just gives it more room for more juice. That's all. I got yeah. a China's couple China's like that that are yep. China China line or whatever they are. When I put it in the truck, it fits tighter. Therefore, it stays there now. Right. Yeah, so it doesn't bounce because around. the puff it actually squeezes in there. Yeah, it won't bounce around in the truck. I wish they made a stick size pack that was three S. Do they? Does anybody know? Yeah, I got one here. I was. Using it's a three S stick pack, like it fits a regular. Yep. That's the one I'm going to run on the Tamaya tomorrow. Like this? But the... See, see this is a 3300. Yeah, I have a 2200 yeah, that's too big. Stick that's pack. too big. And this one will fit. This one is a nice size, but that's too thick. Uh, well, I have one like this. No, no, is yeah, that... but that's smaller. That's smaller. Yeah. This is pretty much almost the same size as a stick one. Okay, so it's a Gen Zace. Yeah, so if I look at this one, it's almost the same size, and it's exactly the same length. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a 3300 Gen Zace. Yeah, that, that's a, I might have to get some of that. And it's it fits nice. And what's nice with this 3300, it is it will fit on the, uh, because it's a little bit smaller, it does fit on the round, yep. uh, round cars, the older cars, when it's round, it fits. I wonder if we you made a, a case for it, it would fit like exactly in a, you know, a stick size Probably. space. Dennis, what one was that? that, what, that go about twenty two hundred. Okay, is that like this? Is that similar to this? Ovonic twenty two hundred. All right, I got a. Full size and then, yeah, that seems power. probably like it's uh, shorty pack. That's, that's what I'm using right now. Forty three hundred. Eric's getting the full size. One of these. Uvo. Is that like Quavo? <laughs> I don't know. They're on sale. I'm going to try them out. I heard they're actually pretty good batteries. They are? Yeah, that's what I hear. And they're good for, you know, Amazon. You know. Right. I got a couple. I got a couple of four, four S's. From them. They've been, they haven't been too bad so far. I ran my Claude on 4S the other day with 17 turn motors. Yeah. Oh, that'd go. I was easy on it because I didn't want to burn anything up, but it was pretty good. Yeah, I don't have a need for 4S yet. But I will soon enough. Some servos direct power you can do five S like that three brothers. These are in on six S. That's how I charge mine. <laughs> Some run six S. The Tom Asher from Three Brothers is six S, but he turned the uh he turned the rates down. How do you charge yours, Kurt? Just like I charge mine the same way tank charges his. Just throw them all <laughs> right there. Yeah, well, I don't have all my batteries sitting on top of each other like that. They're down on the floor, but oh, those are all dead, right? Well, they're dead. They're um, storage. I use them, so they're about maybe thirty percent, some forty. So they're they're there because they're ready to get charged. Yeah, mine are all on the ground, but I have them up on a metal case. I just charge them all. I got a charger just like his. 
my my charged one are in a bag ready to go for tomorrow. Ammo can. I just I don't put them inside a lipo bag or nothing. They just sit out. <laughs> yeah. I just put it in there because it's easier to carry. But yeah, no. When I'm when I have a lipo bag to carry them around when when I leave okay. them somewhere, but when I'm charging them, they just sit out. Oh, yeah, when I'm charging mine, sometimes I'll right, right. sit on here and I'll have the charger right down here and I can just look down and look at it. Like, okay, it's almost yeah. done. But I never, I never, I did before, but I will not again. Uh, I never walk away while I'm charging a battery. I'm always yeah. inside the charger. Yeah, I'm, yeah, with, I'm, with, I'm within the room. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have like some hot mitts you can grab a flaming battery with? No. No. I do. I have an oven glove. A cl an oven yeah. glove. Yeah. yeah. If it, if it just if it decides to go off and it's on the charger, it's going right with the charger. Yeah. yeah. Well, the the charger has leads on them. You just pull on it, it will just come off. True. Just pull on the wire. Yeah, mine comes in. And it's got a, a banana, not a banana clip. It's a yeah. banana, but it just squeezes in there. Yeah. Take that, whoop, done. That's I'm in the garage. I got a concrete floor. It. Right on the concrete floor. I'm running away. So you just snapping these out. Yeah. If they blow, you just gonna go for the wires first. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. JD says I charge mine on a lipo bag. That's what's on my pile. Uh, underneath my pile of battery, there there is a lipo bag under it. Mine's a metal cabinet. I'm on. So, so that should help. Yeah. I know that Definitely. Amazon sells a bunch of these. Oh, bags so you charge it in a lipo bag. Yeah, I charge mine in a lipo. Most bag people charge it in a lipo bag. Yeah, that yeah. way if it catches fire, you can grab it and throw it outside. Some damn things stink. Yes. But there's one time. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, one time I what I. I drained too much of the lipo, so I put it on NIM to charge it up. And then my wife called me to do something upstairs. Oh, shit. Oh. So I went upstairs, and I completely forgot I had it there. I came down two hours later, or even three hours later. And let me tell you, that battery was almost like a football. Like, it did not blow up, and the charger stopped Wow! because of the time. But the, it was like a freaking, and I saw that, I go, fuck. So I unplugged it, I grabbed the lipo bag, and I threw it outside. My wife goes, what's the problem? I go, nothing. Everything's in the control. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong, honey. Yeah, I don't know how many batteries I have out there that's fully charged right now. I couldn't even tell you. I know I got one, maybe, no, two right now. No, I have more than that. This one's fully charged. I'll charge them all up to go racing, and I won't use them all. I'll forget yeah. about them. Same thing. I'm paranoid, so I can never do that. Mine is. I right was when up I there first started. Storage nine. mode. Same here. And now you're not paranoid. No. That's good. I, right. I have them all in ammo. They're in ammo cans <laughs> on concrete floor. You know. That's yeah. That. If you take care of your batteries and they're not puffed and you know that when you're charging them, they're balanced and you always use balance like that, you know that there's no problem with the cells. You shouldn't have no problem. at all. Yeah. Yeah. I think my charger automatically balance, does balance mode when it does charge, I believe. That's okay. what the Traxxas does, I think, right? Kurt, when, yeah. I, when I drive out to a field or a circuit... I actually have the lipos right up in the front seat with me in the box. Yes, you do. I can't, okay. I can't imagine like if it's in the back and something like lit up. I mean, just random stuff yeah. like okay. Big, Big Ed says he does that too. It's it's right in the passenger seat with them. That way, if one catches yeah. fire, you can toss it out the window. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I can't I don't have time to pull over and then open up the, the hatch and then huh. like oh, okay, where is it and get that thing out of there. Wolsty, what's up, buddy? Wolsey, what's up? Long time no see. What's up, Wolsey? It it happened with Chris at from GCM Racing. They had a Helios battery in his truck, and he always leaves his his battery in his truck. So after an event, they put everything in the trunk of the car, and they they went for home. So they left the states, and then they stop at a hotel. The next morning, they go to open up the car, and the smell in the car because oh, they left wow. everything in the trunk. 
but the smell in the car just smelled like burnt. And and then they, they opened up the trunk. There was some still some smoke. And then they started taking the trucks out to find which truck had the problem. And they did find the, the, the car, the truck, and it all melted most of the truck, but nothing else caught fire. They were lucky they didn't lose the whole car. Yeah. 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 Damn lucky. Uh, but I think uh, they didn't lose the whole car because the smoke <laughs> probably smothered the fire. In other words, because it's oh, contained yeah. within the trunk. Mm. Uh, well, you gotta also think too. If it was in the uh, car, it, it had no air, so it probably yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it had no not. air and all that smoke. It actually could not catch on fire. It yeah. just the there kind wasn't of electrical itself out. Yeah. Mine's in storage mode right now. So I'm gonna run my rampage on 3s tomorrow. On storage mode. I used to run mine on. Uh, well, I'm used to put mine on storage mode. I don't anymore because every one of them I put in the storage mode destroyed. Oh, yeah. Storage mode destroyed it. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a freak accident, like a freak occurrence. That one is four batteries. Let's see, where is this folder? Can't get I can't wait to get my ascent, make it into a mud truck. You getting a one tenth ascent? Yeah. Maybe. The original one? Yeah, I'm not going to get that other one. It's only a hundred bucks more, Keith. Yeah, I know, but I wanted to have it. I wanted to be a trail kind of truck, so I'm not going to. Uh... You want to bet? She's not going to say nine. Yeah, not yet. Which one are you getting? The blue one or the red one? Probably the blue one so I can take the back off. Green oh, yeah. black. It's going to be just like the black one, except. Yeah, the black one's got, you know, I don't want, it's got that, it's got uh, the front, what is it called, overdrive or underdrive? They, 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 yeah, but you can change that. I think. Yeah. But, but doesn't, uh, don't they all have that? It comes with it. No, the, the other two don't have it installed. Oh, they're not built that way? Okay. Yeah, it comes with it. Did you guys see what Woods, Woodsy's wrote? He he wrote. It, is it bad that it's four forty a.m. and I'm and and I'm sat here fixing my rig to go out at seven a.m. No, <laughs> been, been that's not perfect time. wrong at all. That's perfect. It's nice and quiet in the house. Yeah, sure. Nobody wife can't you. bother you with hubby yeah. chores. Only thing you can Where is he is the located? The lipo. He's I don't know, over in four forty a.m. He's yeah. A, yeah, he's in the UK somewhere, I think. Right. The only thing you hear is the sizzle of the lipo. He used to be on the lives all the time, but he, it's just too late for him. So yeah. he, he had one in a hot car and it swelled up. Yeah. A battery. Uh, we got another one in this panel that uh, something happened in the hot car, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that would be that would cause it. A yeah, hot days in a car, one. yeah. Build battery voltage. Like I wonder how hot it got though. Like Well, it does it doesn't matter. Your your car if it sits in the sun for what fifteen minutes with the window shut, seventy degrees, it'd be almost two hundred degrees in there. Okay, great speed. Bit. Yours did yes, if the sun's on it, yeah. Car, though, right? yeah. What was that, Keith? I said yours, your lipo experience didn't happen, and and was your car hot, or was it just no, no? Mine was completely user malfunction. Yeah. I mean, it <laughs> fell off my dashboard and got punctured by a piece of aluminum on my car, and then it just ignited. But ignited that's like because that. 
mainly because the batteries I run don't have any protection around them. Right. Like most of the batteries right. you buy have plastic protective fields in the you know, on the inside, or they're hard case. Like I love hard case batteries. They're, they're I mean. My Z batteries are all hard case, and dude, them things have been through hell and back. I've never had one, never had a problem. But when you buy like SMCs and stuff like that, they don't have crap. I mean, there's nothing to protect themselves cells other than a little bit of heat shrink, and they're very extremely easy to puncture. So. Yeah, you're I mean, doing it for weight too, right? I mean, that's why you mostly buy well, them. Kinda, but also size too. I mean, oh. you got to try and keep the size down. So by doing that, you know, yeah, you. You guys you just remind me. Alleviate some weight, but at the same time, you're able to fit a larger battery in smaller space. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just reminded me of a funny story yesterday. About five o'clock in the afternoon as we're cleaning up, we're taking down the tarp and everything and putting everything back in the cars. My buddy, he, he says, hey, one, one of my four cell lipos is missing. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he said, yeah, where's that lipo? And then we, you know, it's kind of a grass area and he had just put it down somewhere. And the other guy, uh, the owner had started mowing the lawn. So he's on oh, the little shit. door. He's going around. <laughs> I said, right, you better find that battery real quick. <laughs> he had put it down on the driver's stand area, though. Luckily, it was an area that they were going to mow, but. <laughs> Ooh, a lot more blade and a light bulb battery. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, I told him to go find your battery right now, man. We went on a mad hunt. <laughs> No one of these batteries are on sale. They're Traxxas connectors. Hey, they're gonna be cut the fuck off. I was gonna say it's worth it though, just to solder on a couple new ends. Yep. Send it to Keith. Send the cutoff battery connector to Keith. I was keeping a couple around just in case. Yeah. I just bought a whole bunch of male females. Dennis looks up. What? <laughs> he bought a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah. Keith, do you do any soldering at all or no? Yeah, a little bit. When I got uh, E6000. <laughs> <laughs> no, no solder. That's blue one. No, I do a little bit. I got some solder. When I first started uh, on the RC and with lipos, I changing a connector. So I change the connector and then everything is fine. I put the heat shrink on and then I take my second battery, take the snip and I go click and snap. Like I did a short, I didn't, I had a brain fart. So I cut both wires at the same time. Oh, yeah. Lipo. And then oh, when it snaps, I go shit. And then I'm holding the, the, the battery on the leads and all of a sudden I hear, and then it swells up and it starts smoking. Luckily, I was outside. I just threw it out. <laughs> and I go, shit, there goes 30, 40 bucks. <laughs> you did a Kevin Talbot. Yeah. Oh, you zapped it that bad that it was uh, toast, huh? Yeah. And it was it was pretty quick. I guess it because it's short, it's shorted inside also. So it doesn't you know, take much. I I never, ever did that again. Hmm. Now I cut one lead at a time. You cut one lead, you strip it, you water, you solder it, you oh, heat shrink it, then you do the other one. Yeah. I'm pretty careful with that. Until I turn them backwards and they blow up my sound kit. That was me. No, I think that was me. I knocked on the... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dogs went ballistic.
Stop fucking with the dog, Keith. I mean, for... well, Tank was talking about he never did that again. I'm gonna knock on wood, so I knocked on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I believe we all did a stupid thing when we were building or doing stuff. Of course. Oh, yes. If you haven't, you're lying. <laughs> right? Yeah. I think the first... Not I'm the on first here, time, ain't I? Oh. <laughs> but I was, I was fixing my SCX-10, and back then the SCX-10, or I can't remember if it's the SCX-10 or another one, the gears in it, you could flip it. Oh, no, it was a Mini E Revo, Traxxas Mini E Revo. I accidentally flipped it. So when I put it all back together, everything is fine. And I go to go, it doesn't go. I go, what the heck? And I try to push it, doesn't push. I turn one wheel and the front wheel goes to they turn into each way. other. Yeah. I've done that. I've done that. So, like, oops. You can do that with all the Arma cars. Yeah, well, I did that. I did that with my Notorious. I was putting it back yeah. together. What the hell? <laughs> what the? I look at it, oh, you dummy. What, the wheels were turning towards each other, the front and the back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that on my element when I first put it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not paying attention, putting a drive shaft on the transfer case, and they're both on the, on the same shaft. <laughs> I'm watching the guy in the King uh, on YouTube for the King Holler build, put it all together. <laughs> oh, I put it all together backwards. Fuck. <laughs> Take it all apart. I didn't put it together backwards. He put it together backwards. Yeah, well, that's the one you were saying. Him. You followed his instruction, and yeah. within the video, he says, Oh, darn, I made a mistake. And then you <clears> also <throat> did the mistake. Do yeah. not do this. <laughs> I remember buying some new tires for one of my first RC cars. I didn't know they had to be, pre they, they weren't pre glued. They were together. I'm like, it's cool. Snap them on. Hit that button. Zzz. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah, that was yeah I haven't thing. glued these Cloudbuster wheels yet. What's up, Jericho? I don't think I glued my Cloudbuster <laughs> wheels also. There's not enough I mean, power that you glued. to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, plus they're chrome, so the glue yeah. isn't going to stick too good. They're friggin' tight to go in. I don't think you need to glue them. Yeah, maybe I'll leave them alone. Because I got the same one you did, the chrome yeah. edition. Black. Black edition? Scrape the bumper. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I scraped it. Oh, shit. You better take that off and get a new one. I'm gonna. Me, it's when I do a wheelie on it, a wheelie in the back bumper, just go. Yeah. I go, oh, but and keep going. <laughs> uh, Sergeant Jay is trying to scare us in a WhatsApp putting uh, yeah, lipo fires. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the He's shop, the one that shop, sent me the lipo. That that <laughs> shop that shop fire was uh was terrible. It's right near my in laws. I. Every time I was out there, I'd, I'd hit that shop up. Okay. Yeah, Dennis, my uh, solder gun is not really good. It's like a 60 solder gun, but it works. So the solder? You can sit there and what squeeze I... a trigger on it for an hour before it gets hot? doesn't have a trigger. But you said it was a gun, solder gun. Oh, well, what else do you call it? Soldering tool? Soldering iron? Or iron. Mm. That reminds me, I got to buy more butane for mine. It's irons. I got to find a battery, a good battery for mine. I guess I can use it. So is it one that runs off a three cell? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hold on, let me check. 
<clears throat> so you got a gas one right? or butane? I got two gas ones. Fire? Yeah. Fire? Is it fire really come out, or is it uh, <clears throat> just heat something up? No, no. There's fire inside. There's a little. You, when you turn it on, you actually see the fire inside of it. Oh, okay. It is butane. It's like kind of like this. No. No. No, that's a crack torch. Yeah. <laughs> crack torch. <laughs> I can go all the way with the six S. See, mine comes in a little case like this. It's a carry case. Oh yeah. That What's up, Jay? Stop. How nice. you doing? So it's a carry case there like that. Porter Soul. Porter Soul. So it looks like that. And it looks like a pen. All right. And then it just the your brain heats up the tip. I can do the torch also. I got a different tip here. I got the straight tip or the cutting one to cut plastic or whatever. So there's different tips. Yeah. I used to use this when I used to be a technician for uh, AV, audiovisual. So now I use it for the hobby. Do you cut a lot of plastic with it? No. Actually, the other day I was cutting, uh, I tried it and it worked pretty good, uh, cutting uh, 3D printed stuff. Yeah, yeah, that th yeah. Yeah, I got me another portable one. <coughs> I have a problem with cutting plastic like that because, it, you know, you got a razor blade and you heat it up and it just, by the time you heat it up again, the plastic's already melted back to where it's cut. That's why you got to put your your blade attached to a soldering iron. Yeah, so it stays stop hot. Yeah, so it stays hot. Because I know if not one of one of us, somebody's going to need a soldering iron at BD Creek. Well, on the trail, mm, maybe. But I'll have my soldering station with me anyhow. Yeah, I'm bringing both the uh, the plug-in and the portable. Because the portable one stays in my bag. And then my other one goes in my my toolbox. I got a big rollaway with all kinds of RC shit in it. Right. So wonder I, I bought one of them uh, you know that exacto knife kit it has a bunch of exacto knives but I wonder if that would fit onto a soldering gun I'll we'll have to see you got to be careful with them too because they're so thin that as soon as you go to get really hot it'll just fuck it up yeah it'll just bend it yeah yeah, because my soldering gun ain't got no, it doesn't have any uh, control no on temperature it. Temperature control. No. Yeah, no. Ain't got no. Maybe I'll ask yeah. one of them for Christmas. Bet you Timu has a cheap one. Or expense, inexpensive. I'll bet you Amazon's got them even less expensive. Less expensive, I think. Yep. Yes, sir. Or you can go right to the where I bought mine and get it for like seventy bucks, and you get a lot of shit with it. I wish I got I had I have a thirty dollar Harbor Freight gift card somewhere I can't find. I'd probably buy one. Where did you go, Dennis? Online? Yeah. We go to it right now and go to the. Uh, I will bring up the one that I got. Oh, you want to see that? Green mm -hmm. rod took off. No, nah, him and Nate just turn their cameras off. He's uh, next week. That's a cool station. 
Yeah, this is the one that I got. That looks real nice. Oh, yeah. All that's that. Nice. What's that? that is what nice. is that syringe like thing there? Is it to clean it? That's to suck it. Oh, it's a solder sucker. sucker. Once you get it oh. melted, you push that little plunger down and hit that button and it pulls the solder right off of it. The old ones? Yeah, the old solder. Yeah. yeah. But everything that comes it's with it. Sucks. Like the flux inside the can with the little brass turnings for cleaning the tip. 64 bucks. That's not bad. You get solder with it, the tool to change the tip. Oh, you got a bunch of tips too, yeah. Yeah, you get the tips, tweezers, the helping hands, the sponge, the little soldering silicone tab or solder tab. But mine doesn't have a dial like this. Mine is actually just a push button. On the Oh, so, but yours has a temperature? Or you just push it and it gets hot and that's it? Yep. And it heats up real fast. <clears throat> I mean, almost instantly. You said it has the auto shut off, right? Yeah, It what it does is it goes into sleep mode after a certain amount of time. If you're not using it. Uh, here, I'm, I'm going to turn it on. I have it set for 680 degrees. 680, wow. How do you set it if it all oh, them two dials set it? Yeah, plus and yeah, minus two buttons. Yeah, okay. And so you have that instead of just a dial. Right. That's how quick that, that's thing. quick, man. It's getting hot, that hot. Yep. Now just pick it up and start soldering. You're done. What does it go to? Eight hundred. Um, it goes up to 896 degrees. Yeah, that's a good chat. Yeah, well, you're trying to melt the sun. Shit. Well, that's on the high side. If you put it on the low side, it goes from 194 to 572. But I put it on the high side because a lot of the your factory solders are done right around 650. Yeah. What is high side and low side? The higher temperatures, so like all your low temperatures are for uh, like doing circuit board work. The high temperatures okay. are, are for thicker wire. Okay. Yeah, so you won't melt the circuit board, I guess. Right. Um... <coughs> Keith, why are you ke keeping a piece of paper on your drawing? You don't want us to see it? No, I don't have my glove and it keep it so it won't smear that much time. Ah, okay. Wait, I'll present you just for you to show it so somebody says it's a cool drawing. Jay likes your drawing. Yeah. That's Thank you. So, cool. so that one that I showed you is the one that actually replaced the one that I have. Okay. Then I'm out of here, guys. Pow. See ya. Bye, Kurt. All right, Kurt. 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 Yeah, 6.30. Unboxing. Be there. See you tomorrow night. 9.30. I'll be there. Right. I'll, be I'll, be I'll be here. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, guys. All right, Eric Free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even have to buy a 3D printer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JD said it's in my cart. What's in your cart, JD? What'd you buy? Uh oh. Soldering. Solder gun. That soldering station? Yeah. Or station. I don't know why I call it a gun. It's cool. Well, honestly, for the cost of it, you can't beat it. I mean, I went yeah. right to their site, right to Xtronic, and I had it within. Four days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they've got a lot more, but I figured, you know, it's I don't need a, anything yeah. super big or super complicated. So, right. This I is don't funny. solder enough. And the, the nice thing about it is while you 
you know, while you're using it and you set it down, it, if you're in between things, you can set a timer for it to go in sleep mode and it'll actually drop the temperature down to 150. This way it's not overheating the, the soldering iron. Yeah, yeah it's just not it, there. As soon as you move it, it starts jumping right back up. See what color paint I have. Yeah, it's just not there. Right. Tag, you... oh, go ahead. They give you a roll of the uh what is that? Um it's the 0. 0.8 millimeter solder, which is like 50 grams. That's enough solder on that to last for a while. How many feet is on there? Oh, yeah. How many feet is that? 50 grams. <laughs> well, that has nothing to do with length. <laughs> oh, man. He did not, he not, he did not get that. Every different color PLA weighs different because what's what is made of what what color they use what pigment and pigments. Yeah, that's why they should go by feet. Nah. No. Yep. Almost everything's sold by weight now. If they sold it by feet, you'd be probably be broke. <laughs> right? I think the reason why they sell it by um, weight is because it changes. Because PLA is actually uh, poly something acid. Polylactic acid. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, that stuff. Yeah. So, it's really, so you can't measure. It's, it's basically a solid that turns into a liquid and changes turns into a solid. I think it's How made. Measure the like length of the liquid. Cornstarch. You know, it's biodegradable. Yeah. It's like made from high fructose corn syrup or something. So it's edible. Uh, <laughs> I had the green stuff last night. They add other things in it. Not. Yeah, JD, if you if you end up getting that, you're you're gonna like it. It's definitely a good soldering station to have. Cornstarch. Is it? Yeah, um, it's mainly derived from cornstarch. Yeah, and they also use uh, fermentation of corn, sugarcane, potatoes, and other biomass. All natural. Biomass. Right? <laughs> biomass. Biomass. <laughs> Edible filament. Unbelievable. Edible filament? <laughs> I mean, cornstarch, sugar, potatoes. In it. <laughs> I guess if you were like starving to death and you were locked in a warehouse, maybe. They use that same stuff in a McDonald's hamburger? I'd rather have a 3D printer based on the get out. You can, <laughs> you can buy edible filament, I think. You 3D print at the end of the night. Let me see. You can, they make implantable medical implants out of PLA. Like, gosh, uh, uh, shoulder rotator cuff anchors that we Yeah, absorb. but you're not eating it, so it's not going through your stomach. True. You're resorbing it. Yeah. Well, ready? This is on Amazon. 30 bucks. What is it? edible. 3D printer? 
It says, well, let me click on it. Is it like uh, so you like, Yeah, oh, you can 3D print bunnies and stuff like that, right? DJ, you're cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a spoon day. Uh, uh, I'm busted. <laughs> I didn't even know they made forks over there. Right? It's spoon man. <laughs> hey, he's from the States. He knows where to get him. Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Eh? The Momino wants to play him up. So the loss of you do, yo. Thank you. You said you're putting on a crawler. Is it going to be, what is it going to be? Crawling? Yeah, tomorrow. It's not, gonna tomorrow comp. it's not a comp crawler. No, no, it's just a get together. Oh, okay. Just a get together. You're going to go in the park over there? Yeah. They have a cocoa press 3D chocolate printer. But it's dedicated to uh, chocolate. This edible is dedicated to chocolate. 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 Yeah, that makes sense there. Fifteen hundred dollars. That that's weird because like, okay, I know you gotta melt the chocolate, but it has to have something to cool it down very fast so it stays in a certain It might have a um anti skittle on it. A what? Anti Skittle. It's it's basically it's just a it looks like a scale, but what it is is the flat piece of stainless steel with uh, refrigerant under it, and it's ice cold. So you put some on it, it freezes. Uh, looks like I a mean, skittle. Almost, it looks like almost like a um. Oh, you said it. scale. I thought you said skittle. Anti it is called anti skittle. Oh. You, no, yeah, you weren't skittles. hearing things, Keith. You said skittle. You said yeah. skittle. Uh, that doesn't mean you the taste rainbow. the rainbow. <laughs> taste the rainbow. You just taste the chocolate. Oh, it comes in an enclosure. Is that it's no. anti rainbow? You could make uh, edibles with that, if you know what I mean. I already make edibles. Well, with the three D printed fancy oh. edible. <laughs> make a pot leaf All edible. kind of special shapes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You say that skull. Keith, I haven't seen you working on an RC in a while. I ain't got none. I will ain't, be in a little bit, man. I'm gonna... So what are you getting? Oh, yeah, you're getting the Ascent. Sorry. I don't know. I'm just fucking no, with you guys. Not. I'm getting a four-wheeler. RC four-wheeling? I'm going to change it into... I'm going to put it on the 124 scale. Oh, yeah. Uh, They have a couple uh, food printers. One is made out of, they got one is Sugar Lab. It's a water-based binder, ink with powdered sugar, and oh. other dehydrated food powders. Sounds like some Star Trek stuff, like a rep. Oh, no, uh, they got the stuff. another <laughs> company. They make pasta. It's mostly anything that's powdered. I miss Star Trek. I didn't like Deep Space Nine, but no, I, I like Next Generation. I used to yeah, watch it. Next Generation was good. TNG. Mm -hmm. Pictures of rattlesnake tails. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you guys. So, thank. Uh, take you gonna care. make me the host again? No, I'm just gonna leave. Okay. No, no, I already did make you the host. Okay. See you, Frank. See you later. Hey, hey have fun tomorrow. tomorrow. Happy Easter. Why do you call him Francois? <laughs> that's because that's his name. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. I'm out there. Happy oh, Easter. Good, man. We'll see you, see you next Happy Easter. Easter. It's just a matter of time before we can 3D print our own food. Yeah. I mean, for Christ's sake, that's 3D printing fucking houses. 
They got all. Yeah, I saw that on. They're they're already doing that with con with machines that do pour concrete. I think. Yeah, yeah. there's a um. I saw it. I was watching a YouTube video, and how this thing this it was like a big ass crane, but it was a three D printer. Yep. And it was building this house. It just kept just layer by. It was it was cool as shit. Yeah. yeah. Zero air gap. Mm hmm. And I think sense. when it does it, it does uh, two to three inches thick at a time. But you have to be there to keep feeding it. Yeah, feeding it. Then once you're done with that section, then you got to move to a different section. Just keep setting up different parameters on it. Which is pretty cool. I thought America was crazy about these, uh, what do you call it? tiny houses, or even Elon Musk had some sort of small, tiny Tesla house. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the hot thing, you know? Wrong. It is. It, it still is. is. They're buying basically the tiny house is just a 12 by 12 or 12 by 14 shed that you can put in your backyard mm -hmm. and they put it on a trailer. Yeah. Wire it all up to guys. Have panels there. and shit on the roof. All right, Josh. 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 What do we yeah, do? I'm like flies. I keep seeing them, you know. Where they've gotten like a a twelve by twelve shed, and then they've bought a smaller one and put it on top, and made it where the the bottom was like the main house area, and then upstairs in the smaller one was the all the sleeping. Okay, there's no way I could do that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> If I had the land and the money, I'd, I'd make me a container home. Oh, yeah. Think they would sell those here in Japan. Like in America, I think America wants to have a big home, big house, do three-car garage. Uh, of course, a man cave for the RC stuff and whatever. I don't know why they don't sell those tiny houses here. That's where they need them. No, what you guys need over there is, like Eric was saying, them container yard, like shipping containers, kind yeah. of you should see the stuff that these people are building with them here. They're setting five and six of them together and stacking them two stories high, and the, the things look like freaking mansions when they're done. They look amazing, and for in the cost, <laughs> down, down, down. They're yeah, you're talking, you're talking, you talk, you talk, them, them, because them, them shipping containers are what about four or five grand a piece or something like that. Yeah, but, yeah, footer, yeah, 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 about four or five grand. So. And they'll deliver it. And the only thing you got to do is have the foundation that you want it on. And they'll come set that bitch right there and you do the rest. Well, see, you can get a regular shipping container for as little as $1,000. Mm -hmm. Or you can buy the military explosion proof that expands in both directions for three grand. Why does it expand when it blows? It it's basically a field office. Oh, so it's meant to do that? Expand. Yeah, what they do yeah. is uh you can you can like, crank uh, one side out or leave both of them out, whatever it's got yeah. getting all, all the outlets, the whole nine yards. It's it, explosion proof. Hmm. But I mean, I seen a guy that bought ten of those containers laid them out in different positions on top of each other and just added pillars to hold them in place. He had 4,000 square feet of living space. Because you think about it, when you set two containers down like this, you can have another one on top like that, and there you go. You don't have to worry about any kind of support because it's boom, boom, because they do it all the time when they stack them in the yards. Yeah, they're, they're self-structurally sound. Yeah. And the elements aren't going to affect you at all. And so well, they said, then, they, then they go around and just weld, weld them together and uh, cut your cut your openings between each section of them. And then just yeah. wire it, frame it all up. They have those as hotel rooms out here. Like, they'll have them when you're coming off the highway somewhere and, you know, 
especially good for like single travelers because they only charge like uh, 40, 50 bucks a night uh, to stay in one of them. And you have that whole room to yourself. And so it, that's what they're using them like, here for. Have you been been to one of those internet cafes or what do they call them where people sleep there? Uh, I did a long, long time ago, about 20, 30 years ago. I wouldn't go there now. No. Because uh, it's just people are just funky, nasty, and they're they're homeless. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, most of the guys are just in there jerking off. So. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Painting the walls. Nice. But if, you, if, you're, if you're at a good one, it's actually a pretty cool experience when it first started. It was a novelty. Mm -hmm. You go in there, you pay for an eight-hour package, you stay there pretty much a whole night, you have access to all kinds of food, snacks, drink, pizza, delivery, yep. and the internet's there, manga, DVDs, and everything else. And they even had couple rooms as well where they threw in sofas and stuff. So, yeah, well, I mean, those were for them girls who are just not going to, you know, they weren't going to have anything, nothing was going to happen that night, so that's where they go. Hey, Mr. Businessman. But, uh, yeah, and uh, some of them had art, had small RC rooms, some of them, not all of them, but uh, like a little drift course or something like that. Or oh, whatever. really? Yeah. But the ones that come with all the showers and stuff like that, no, nah, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with that. That's <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hey, uh, who's in the chat? Anybody? Yeah, uh, there's there. Uh, How many people we got watching? Uh, just uh, Guru and still Woolsey. 15 people watching. We're down to three, according to my uh, info here. I just hit refresh and oh, hold on. 14 says, including yeah. me. Yeah, now it says 14. Okay. So I'm sure we all have YouTube open along with this. Yeah. No, we're down to 12. <laughs> <laughs> Back to 13. 13. What time is it? I guess like, I'll, I don't have a 12.30. Yeah, I'll shut down at 12 o'clock. All right. Here. So it'd be one o'clock our time. Yeah. Yep. Time and your time, spin rush. One twenty-five in the afternoon. <laughs> On a Sunday. Cleaning a rig. It's uh just You got you got Easter's there? Yeah, we got Easter today is Easter. Okay. Yeah. And I'm uh just checking. I'm just trying to get all the mud packed out of here. Yeah, that mud, man, it was pretty packed. I wish my trucks were that dirty. <laughs> <laughs> my trucks are that dirty. <laughs> you don't have any dirt on that. Even you after got more on the tires. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a plastic dish ball, man. I got, I got more. I got more dirt right there. <laughs> that he has on his whole car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Corey. Hey, my senpai taught me. Welcome, clean Corey. Is fast. Oh, Corey. Clean is fast. Dirty, yeah. A dirty car is always going to be slow. You Let it slide this time, Spin Rush. Can you get the, any of the Cow RC products over there? The Cow RC? Yeah, for cleaning your your stuff. Oh, that muck off stuff that you. Uh, I haven't looked into it, but I'll def. After looking at this, yeah, I'll be looking into it today for sure. I just got yeah. a couple bottles of Simple Green next to me and uh, some WD forty. Yeah, Cow RC. They make. Uh, it's called Moo Clean. You can spray everything down. It, it's electronic friendly. Then they've got some stuff that's a, a mousse slick with silicone in it. You spray the whole car down. It makes it look like new. It's easier to clean. 
they've got a tire wash, they've got um, grease for them, it's called uh, Utter Butter. Mm. They've got all kinds of products for this. Oh, yeah. This thing called RC. They just moved from, I want to say, Indiana is where they were. They're moving their place down to Florida now. Okay. Yeah, I'll do some shopping in the weeks to come. And they also have um, work mats, magnetic, with little tray spacers on them for screw catchers. Uh, all this the magnetic their, mats. Yeah. Yeah. This is a small one. It's uh, 24 long, well, 24 wide, and I want to say 16 tall. It was like $38. But they got a lot of good stuff. I like using their stuff. Matter of fact, Kurt Watt, uh, he won some tire cleaner from one of their lives about a month ago. Okay. And then I just won a, a 25% <clears throat> off discount code the other night when I watched them. And if I play my cards right, they're going to have like a half off sale on certain stuff. So use that code on that and get it for next to nothing. Where all I'll be paying is probably shipping. What is that? But that's probably TJ's computer. What? Oh, I don't know what that is. Sounds like a like a video game when notifications of some sort but yeah somebody's getting something to have anything open yeah, it's not me i don't do shit on this computer except this <laughs> ain't me i didn't even get any Sorry, those are a whole bunch of facebook likes that's what that is oh Guys, man, I am truly, truly happy, man, with this thing. I just, I did not, honestly, I did not know how good techno is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be sing. Bear <clears throat> with me. I'm gonna be singing their praises for for a little while there, um, because I had I had, I had been messing around with Associated and Losi for for years and never gave other brands a chance until now. Two more minutes. Yeah. You're watching the clock, man. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. What do you got printing? It's only two more minutes. Half of a tie at. Now you got your trailer pretty much done now. All the lights, everything are done. You got the truck wired up for the lights to go back to the trailer. Yep. Everything working off the remote. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> when is your beat the creek again? Is that in May or April? Yeah, in um uh, May third. May third. Be back in a minute. This guy's got an ascent. Brand new in box for two fifty near me. Uh it looks
looks like he's already had it out. Yeah, he took it out, but he says it's never been used. Mm. Which you know, it's new. It has its box and control. Never touched dirt, and it's gathering dust. He probably ran in his house. See, he probably uh, is getting rid of that because he bought the Ascent Fusion. Probably. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it. I'd buy the Fusion. At this point, and yeah, they did kind of shoot themselves in the foot with that, like, <laughs> releasing two trucks like that, like back to back. Well, the fusion was supposed to get released before it was supposed to go the ascent, the ascent 18, the fusion, and then the uh, fifth scale, the vigilante. And because shipping got all screwed up, they had to release it the way they did. Yeah. The Fusion was supposed to be a more comp version truck. And now all these guys are, are bitching and complaining that they released it after they did that. They should have waited, this and that, blah, blah. Well, it's not that they were listening to anyone saying that this is what we did to ours and you guys should do this. It's they already had that in the making. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I seen a guy today posted in, in the ascent group that he broke the chassis right at the skid. What he said he didn't take a fall or nothing. Well, where it broke which is right in front of the skid. That's from being up against a rock, backing up and trying to bounce it up the rock. So it's slamming into the chassis rail right there. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you're going to break carbon fiber. Abuse. Yes. RC abuse. Oh, unless you go down to the Titanic. <laughs> Of course, you get that you get that red cat uh, ascent with a carbon like that, but uh, I don't know. It's just kind of a racer thing. But I was taught like um, when I'm using carbon parts to take CA glue and go around the edges the outside of those carbon parts to right. just give See it more strength. I don't I don't know if they're if these guys are doing that with no, this. Not. no. Oh, okay. And see here here's the other thing that a lot of people don't understand. When you have a flat piece of carbon this way, this yeah. way is always going to break. This way won't because you're going against the weaving. This is going with the grain of the weave. Yeah, there's no gives in that. That's plane. why so. you get a carbon fiber chassis, a flat chassis for like a buggy. Everything's flat. So it's got that flex. Mm -hmm. You never are getting the side to side flex. So you're not getting hit from the edge where it's going to be at a, at the right point where that thing is just going to snap in half. You got a rail sitting like this where your rail is actually coming like this in, at a point. Yeah, this point right here is going to be your weak point going this way. That's why they have 3D printed pieces or injection molded that come from the high side to the low side to strengthen that. Mm. I've got a carbon fiber chassis, and I've got a G10 chassis. I broke a G10 chassis the same way he broke a carbon fiber. It was right behind the skid, and it snapped this way. You can't break them when you're flexing them, bending them. It's harder to break that way. But, yeah, when I seen that, I was like, yeah, that's just abuse. That's not a flaw. That was abuse. Yep. All these guys that are complaining about pieces breaking on them. You know, they're breaking the, the panhard mount on the axle, breaking the panhard mount at, at the shock tower right by the frame. Or they're pulling the front link apart. Well, if you guys are just the trailer slash crawlers you don't know how to finesse it you're going to break it 
they're too trigger happy. It still seems like they had to do something pretty severe to break that. Like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, my comp rig, my, my carbon fiber comp rig has rolled down some nasty rocks in comps. Never broke. Because it's not hitting the chassis rails. Mm. But yeah, when you're up against a rock and that rock is sitting right here at the skid and you back up and you give it throttle and the back tire doesn't want to climb, it just slams into that chassis, it's yeah, going to break it. It would have to be an impact. Yeah. Oh. You guys just reminded me, I got to thank John uh, for the advice that he gave me uh, about where to put that. Uh, sorry, the uh, body armor inside the short core shrug body. He was oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we took I took a couple of hits yesterday. It wasn't too bad. They were they weren't severe hits, but yeah, everything held up, man. The body didn't take any damage at all, so it was pretty good. So thank you for that. For uh, yeah, not a problem. Telling me to do oh, that. So that's 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 one of, that's one of them ones that no matter what you do, it's going to be right there. With yep. the horse right across, right in that fender area, right up into the, the main pillars. That area always cracks on them. It's like there's some places, even on crawlers, that like around the, uh, if you have uh, body clips around those holes, body posts, I always reinforce those. Especially when we take a tumble. No, I ain't going to say a tumble. I'm gonna say I fall. Yeah. I don't never tumble. <laughs> I always fall. <laughs> I remember when I was racing off road, we used to take the cut off pieces of the body, just scrap Lexan, and make like silver dollar size pieces, yeah. put a hole in it, and put it on the bottom of the body. Yeah. And then put our clip through them. Just make it like another washer so it can't rip all the way through. Yeah, not too much stress on it. Um, again, a couple rolls here and there, but uh, yeah, all that on the inside held up. And luckily the ride height was right, so I didn't have any rubbing on the inside of the body, so that was good. But again, it did come up in a few areas. This uh, this weave. I don't know what the name of this product always escapes me. Oh, like, the dry, like the drywall tape. Drywall. Yeah, thank you. Drywall. The nice thing is though, is you can go back over it with shoe glue again and put it right back down. Yeah, and that's probably what I'll do after I clean this up. Yeah. But these proline bodies, man, zero parachuting, man. It's like, thank you, proline. <laughs> Never yeah. once did I did I lawn dart or hang up or anything like that. It took them a while to get it figured out, but they finally got it figured out. Yep. What? I can remember being at some off road races and waiting for the short course guys to get done. Every time they hit a jump. The truck's doing this, and they can't get it to come back down, and it it stabs the ass into the ground and slams. And yeah, they are funny things, aren't they? Oh. I'm going to shut the live down. All right. Let me return this to the kitchen. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Hey. Chat. Thanks, chat. Hey, Thanks for doing everybody. This